What is up, guys? How we doing? It's uh, <clears throat> it's cold in this in this BC. Uh, I'm supposed to be. Uh, well, I kind of stepped on it, but I'm supposed to be reviewing this. Um, I'll re I'll review it tomorrow, and then I'll probably upload it in two weeks. Can't wait to review it. What is up, guys? Jay Watterson, uh, Miska Gray, uh, Jennifer Turner, uh, Mia Nakali's daughter, Kali Mali, uh, Rone, uh, John uh, Keller, Ruby Marie, Nicole, Mad Butler, Abel Vasquez, Tanel Woodward, Woodward, excuse me, Mike Brown, not that Mike Brown, Go Go to the No No, uh, Christina Finch, hey, Crystal Wood, Jose Gomez, Yellow Submarine, Ruth, Geisha Jasmine, what is up? Paul Angelo, yo yo, Jessica Goforth, Peter Yellowcloud, Christina Perez, Marie Donovan, and Jay, uh, Vinny G53, Wendy Smith, Solo Trip, Debbie, Lisa Brown, and uh, Sahid. Is there something behind you? The guy was stubborn or something. I don't know, maybe he recognized me. Lush Leggett, uh, Ada McLeod, I think I just said your name tonight, Hunter Ace, Ryan Galassia, uh, Ladder Shade of Brown, DTXX, oh, the guy died? Oh, he got a hip hop murder, or was it natural causes? I'm not really sure. Uh, Cherry916, uh, Chris Melly, Tracy Royal, Lessie L from Tejas, Tim White, and the last one is Jojo and Jennifer Owens, and the rest of you guys, well, you came too late. You came too late. I, I'm a bit tired, but I thought I would live stream for a little bit before I head into the back. To the back. Yeah. Uh, where's my beer? I haven't drank in a week. I'm going to... Uh, be drinking once a week and then uh, I'll probably let loose for Christmas and then uh, January I might do a, I might do like a three month no drinking I don't know it depends on how I feel but uh, I'm pretty proud of myself uh, you know, this year I didn't I didn't drink a whole lot that was, that's pretty good I'm, I'm quite proud I'm quite proud of my CFA um, where is in all seriousness do not buy this body wash. Do not buy this body wash. This is the, I'm not gonna say it's the worst body wash, but you know, when you're buying Dove, you would think it's good, right? It's absolutely not. It's like, uh, it's like I got it from the Dollar Tree or something. <clears throat> I don't know. Um, where is my, I just, I could have sworn I just had it. Well, since I can't find it, I'll, Drink a little bit of my Saudi pop. I wonder I can't sleep. Um, <clears throat> there it is. Voodoo rain job. That's right. You know, never drink and sit in a running car. It's not good. You can get a um, a, <clears throat> a DUI. But uh, it's uh, 44 degrees, and it's going to get colder tonight, so F them. Here's the DUI. But officer, I'm going nowhere. I'm going to warm up. What, what I normally do uh, when, I, when I'm in uh, very cold climates, for instance, you know, Let's say if I was in uh, Missouri in, in January or February, if I were only in my van, I usually run it until it's so hot I can't stand it, and then I go to sleep. And then I wake up at 6 a.m. It's like clockwork, and the, and, the, and the cold, the freezing cold wakes me up. And then I get up, and I turn the van on again, and I hide under my covers, and I wait for it to get. It takes about 30 minutes for it to get really hot again, and then I turn it off, and I conk out. That's what I do. That's what I do. Wait, how many how many miles do I have? Oh, I have. Th uh, in case anybody wants to know, I have three hundred and sixty-four 
1,400 miles. I've actually been driving a lot the last five days. So yeah, I've been driving quite a bit, quite a bit. Uh, graveyard from the past with the $2 Super Chat. Uh, another Graveyard channel trying to get my attention, I see. Huh? All right, I see what you're doing. It only costs you $2. Okay, that's pretty cheap. That's pretty cheap to advertise your channel uh, with me. Uh, what's up? Uh, Ruby Marie with the $4.99. Thank you very much, guys, for the Super Chats. I appreciate it. Thank you kindly. Thank you kindly. Uh... Uh, you guys do not have to donate on this channel. Uh, just chill out, listen to me talk, or what, if you if you'd like, or whatever. Ask me a question, and then uh, we'll we'll definitely we'll definitely go from there. Uh, Mr. Garcia, what's going on, my friend? How we doing? How we doing? Um, I was just gonna say something. What was uh was it about the cold? I haven't been losing weight like the the last two or three weeks. I haven't really weighed myself, but I don't believe I've been losing weight. So I, I think it's because I've been eating these damn things at night, and I gotta stop. Uh, where the hell are they? I don't know, but yeah, I got I gotta get more serious on my diet. So I, I think I'm just gonna coast for the rest of this year. Um, probably not gonna try to go hardcore, but man, let me tell you, I'm I'm you know I was so trying to get every video I've ever done put away meaning either put on TikTok, put on YouTube, uh, edited or whatever. And then I got so burnt out on the editing that I had to like calm down on it. And then I've been filming video for like the last, you know, five, probably a week. And then, so I think tomorrow, tomorrow I might do a video. I don't know yet. I'm thinking about it. And then um, I might do a, a faces in death. Uh, I might do a cemetery vlog video. And then, um, uh, I will, uh, and then Monday, Monday, I'm going to go Monday. I'm, I'm going to go look at a trailer that somebody's selling and, uh, I'm going to go, I already looked at it before, but I'm going to look at it again. And it's not a permanent trailer. It's just something temporary that I have a, you know, a bed or whatever. And then if I don't, regardless of if I buy it or I don't buy it, well, let's just say I, I, I do buy it. I'm not going to be doing any videos because from there I got to head to Oklahoma and then I got to go down to Texas and then I got to, I got to put all my stuff away. So I'll be taking after Monday, Tuesday, cause I've been doing a lot of driving the last week. Uh, I got to, uh, I got to take like, like five days off. So when I say five days off, that means that like, I just, I'm not going to probably film anything. I'll probably just edit. I'll probably just like edit one or two videos a day and chill out and then so i might be in the dallas fort worth area um for for christmas week something like that uh i'll i'll, I'll probably um i'm trying to and i don't want to overdo it guys but i am trying to get back more to the cemetery videos i know people like those and you know i just don't want to do too many of them but i'm you know noticing that i'm not doing hardly i feel like i'm not doing hardly any of them and that my channel is like totally just true crime uh, so I need to balance that out. So I need to get like more into like abandoned cemeteries. Um, it doesn't have to be a faces in death. It could be, you know, forgotten in death or, uh, whatever. And then, um, I got, I got some other ideas for new videos that I'm going to start implementing. Um, it all, like I said, it all takes time to get things in order. Um, trying to get back to four videos a week. I was trying to do it for January. I don't know if I'm going to make it. Cause for me to get back to four a week, I got it. I got to, first of all, I got to like lay off the Lamont on the run. I can't be uploading as many videos on, on here as I do. I gotta, I gotta like go back. I gotta scale down to like maybe two a week, maybe two or three a week or something like that. Just something like real quick. And then, um, yeah, I just gotta, just gotta, I gotta finish up some videos that I, that I filmed this summer. So, uh, won't be doing a whole lot of filming for December, but I, I'm going to, I'm going to uh, January, February, have no idea where I'm going. I have absolutely no idea. Uh, should I, you know, it's like California. I'm just like, eh, should I fly out there? I wouldn't mind going there in January. I just didn't want to go in December. Um, so maybe I, I might fly out there in January. I have no idea. If I decide to drive out there, I'm probably going to, I'm going to actually, when I get down to uh, Texas, I'm going to start kind of sort of looking for a new van. Um, I already have another van in storage. I know I'm, I'm really weird. 
I don't want to use that van right now. I don't want to put any miles on it. Um, I just, I'll, I'm just going to get like another minivan. I'll just look for a cheap one. Um, that's about it. Uh, yeah, that's about it. Uh, you know, I don't, you know, the, the only body wash that I really use, because, you know, I've always said that the only people that use bar soap are people that, you know, either, you know, you were born in, you know, 1912, you know, where you would still use like animal fat as soap or whatever, and it would mix with perfume, or you just got out of prison. Like nobody, I mean, who uses bar soap anymore? Like, yeah, people in prison, people in prison. And I mean, do you know of a person? Seriously, does anybody know anybody that uses bar soap? I don't know. I mean, not like I you go around asking everybody that I know, hey, do you use bar soap? But um, people's bathrooms that I've been in throughout my existence, I've, I don't recall seeing a bar of soap like anywhere. And, and I, but I remember, I don't remember whose bathroom I used um, in the last three months, but there was a bar of soap on the sink. I was like, I think that was Mike. I think that was Meth Mike or something. Like, yeah. I'm like, dude, why the hell is there a bar of soap in the sink? Why do you want to wash your hands with the same thing that people were doing disgusting things and washing their hands? Well, you know, at least they're washing their hands. So I don't know. That's kind of gross. My voice sounds like Andrew Tate. Um, I don't believe we sound alike. Uh, I would think that we possibly might enunciate our words and kind of speak similarly, but I don't sound like him, but I could, yeah, I can see that I, I don't know if you meant sound like him as in my voice, but like, if you say like how we uh, speak, yeah, yeah, I can kind of see it uh, a little bit. I wish I was in shape like him, but uh, I just can't seem to. I don't know. I just can't seem to get it together with the with the, the gym. I mean, but then again, I ain't gonna lie. I haven't been. I've been going to the gym regularly now for like three weeks, which is the first time I've been to the gym regularly since July. It's a man. It's uh, maybe my age is catching up to me. I have no idea. Uh, but uh, I think starting on Monday or so, I might start messing with the weights again. It's just I'm just dreading it. You know, so I'm just dreading it. Uh, when did you film your first video? I gotta turn this, I gotta turn this crap off. Hold on. Of course they wanna text me when. <sighs> Anyways. Uh, when did you film your first video and how did you know that you wanted to live in your van, travel and make a living? out of YouTube. Uh, ask your questions in no particular order. Uh, I didn't know I was, I, YouTube was an accident. I didn't try to make money. I never ever in my life tried to make money on YouTube. I just did videos because I was bored. Um, live in a van? I knew when I was five years old that I would live in a van. Swear to God. I knew when I was five. I w I've always been interested in people who live in their vans. Uh, but then I started living in my van, not because I wanted to, it's because I didn't have a choice and I was kind of dreading it. Right. Because I, I, I never, I mean, it was so uncomfortable to me. And then I remember the first night was like miserable. I was in Las Vegas. I was working security for this apartment complex. I had a 1995 Chrysler town and country minivan. No, uh, no license plates, no insurance. I think I had a driver's license though. And, you know, I, I would use like, how would I drive around with that damn thing? I don't remember, but I, I cause I had two vans. That was one that I kind of bought sort of from this junkyard guy. I was making payments. Now I remember I bought the van. I bought a 1995 Chrysler town of country from a junkyard guy, right? He was a friend of a friend and uh, he gave me the van with like, it, it basically, he was just doing me a favor. It, it The van ran good. It's just, it was beat up because it was in an accident. So the hood wouldn't like shut. You had to kind of like shut it weird with a, with a, use a wire or something like that. But it ran really good. Everything worked. And uh, so he sold it to me for 1500 bucks. And uh, he's like, well, how much money do you have for, for a down payment? And I was like, uh, like 
three hundred. And he goes, all right, well, how much can you pay a month? And I said, I, I could pay you 250 every two weeks. And he was like, all right, cool. All right, just give me 300, the van is yours. And then uh, just pay me 250 every 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 two weeks. And then um, when you pay the 1500, I'll give you the title. I was like, all right, cool. So I, I gave him, like I paid like probably like three times, right? Man, so the next time i'm paying him right so now i've i've given him the 300 down and then i've given him like probably two or three you know uh, payments of 250 so now it's like you know maybe a thousand dollars i go to the junkyard and it's it's closed nobody's around and it's locked and i'm like what the hell like where's everybody at like everybody was gone and then i went back home and i and i told my friend that was a friend with her friend of his i said hey dude where the hell is uh so and so he goes dude he got arrested i was like for what he said uh stealing cars <laughs> he said they, they raided his shop like uh like i just they just told me right now so i'm like well how the hell am i gonna get the title to the van so this guy's in jail and i don't have the title so so the guy he would just he gave me like temporary placards right so he just put the temporary it's a fake temporary tag whatever so i would just drive around with that and i never got pulled over because who's pulling over a guy in a minivan and then uh i i i, I drove that van around for like maybe three or four months that's the first van i ever slept in and let me tell you like the night sucked because i didn't have a blanket and it was cold and i i didn't even sleep i barely slept but i was so tired from not sleeping that night, the, the second night I slept, I just knocked out. And I remember when I woke up, it was the, I had the damnedest feeling, right? I had the damnedest feeling. I'm like, I slept in a van. Like, it was like I got away with some crime. And I was like, that was actually cool. And I'll never forget it. I'm just like, dude, I, I, I told myself, I said, I think I could, I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm just going to sleep in my van because now I don't have to pay any damn rent. And because I lost my money, giving it to the guy and I never seen him again. And I had his van. I'm like, well, hell now I got to get another van because I don't have the title to this van. So I just kept sleeping in that van. So I would just, you know, I would sleep in that van and then I got a second job. So I was doing security and then all oh, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And then I, 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 I would kind of like fall asleep during my shift. Like, like, let's say if I got off at like two, two thirty, three o'clock in the morning, you know, I'd like, you know, work until like one o'clock, one thirty, And I just like hide in my van for the last two hours and then just conk out. And, you know, I'd wake up and it'd be like, you know, nine o'clock in the, in the morning. And I'm just like, all right. And then just go to the gym and shower. And, uh, I saved up some money and then I bought another, I bought a 1992 Plymouth Grand Voyager. Uh, he gave it to me for a thousand bucks, had a hundred. It had 103,000 miles on it. That van was so scary because it looked really cool. It was really l weird looking, right? Because it had these these two big, weird, stupid, like kind of, well, you know, those big tires on some of those um, those funny cars. It was just weird. It's like, it, like the van sat like this. It was like, it was weird. And then I bought it for the $1,000. And then I, it, and then I, I remember I, that was like the first vehicle I ever owned that I got. I got uh, insurance. I I had a driver's license. I had I would dude. I didn't have to drive around anymore. Like, you know, like worrying about getting pulled over. It was a great feeling. And that van lasted me about six months, and then it broke. And then when I went to I I, moved, I, I didn't move, but I went to crash with my brother up in uh, Washington. And man, I, that van ran really good. And then I'm driving down the street. I'm in Bellevue which is like, on, it's like east of Seattle, about 20 minutes. And then I go to the gym and I, by this time, I just, I just got there. I didn't have, it, dude, I didn't have it literally. When I went to his house, literally, I swear to God, I think I had $5 to my name, $5. I had no money. Like literally, I, I don't even know how I put gas in that damn van. I didn't go anywhere. All I would go is to the library to use the internet to look for a job and to the gym. 
literally like a two mile radius. I go to the gym, I work out, whatever. And I get in my van and I start it up and all of a sudden, just this weird knocking sound coming from the engine and this huge cloud of smoke just out the out the back. I said, what the hell? I said, what the hell happened? I must have blew a rod. But it was so weird because it was running fine. And then when I went to the gym and I, I started, that was it. I said, hot damn. I I don't, I, and then I, I, I had AAA, so I called AAA. So they came, got my van, towed it to my brother's house. And I re I'll never forget this. It's little things like this that has sh that have shaped my life about who you know who I am as a person. You know, it's 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 little things like this that that this is why I am the way I am. So the tow truck driver gets to my brother's house, and my van is screwed, and I'm like you know looking up like stuff online about like what what's wrong with my car and i'm guessing i threw a rod so my brother so at this time i'm 20 hmm, I, I'm, I'm, I'm 26 years old and you know my brother he's like eight nine years older than me right so he's like he goes man why'd you go he goes why'd you go anywhere And, and mind you, like, I'm 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 like crashing in in one of his spare rooms. So I, you know, it's like, I really can't, like, you know what I mean. But I, I'm just like, I said, what do you mean? What I why I go somewhere? And he goes, man, he said you have no money. He goes, you you don't even have money to put gas in there. He's like, why? He goes, why don't you just stay here? And I was like. That's when it hit me. I'm like, I'm trapped. <laughs> I'm trapped. And I said, I had nothing. I'm trapped. I, I couldn't go anywhere. He he's I'm 26 years old and he's telling me to stay there because I don't have any money till I go out and go do anything. And I'm just like, I said, you know what? Like, I'm not gonna say anything to him. I just went into my room and like for the next, and I stayed there for like five months. And I felt like, it, like, like, it's not like he's my dad. It wasn't nothing like that, but I'm just like, I can't live under people's roofs. I, I can't do it. I, I can't, like, I can't stay in people's houses. I just don't like it. And, you know, I mean, my brother treated me well and everything like that, but I just never forget what he said. That I'm just like, what do you mean, stay here? Like, stay here and be a prisoner? And man, you know, it's such a um, crap feeling to be that broke. I mean, literally, literally, like, no money. But I, I'll tell you what, though, um, the time that I lived up in Washington, I really enjoyed living there like i really like living there now i didn't like the rain that was annoying i didn't like the uh i didn't like uh uh all the uh liberals no offense to any liberals in here but i didn't really care for them i didn't know i didn't care for them until i lived there and then i would you know you know re when i would read like the newspaper or listen to t talk radio i'm like just like all the you know the whatever nonsense uh, but it wasn't like that then, like it's like it is now, but I really did love living up there and I met some really cool people and I had some really fun times being like a young dude living in Washington and I enjoyed my job. I liked working at my job and, and, but you know, I, I told myself, I'm like, man, don't ever be that broke ever again. Don't do it. Don't ever be that broke ever again. I'm too, you know, I'm 44 now. I can't be, you know, I don't know. That was a trip. I'll never forget that. I'll never forget.
forget that. I was, he's like, don't go anywhere. <laughs> I was like, oh boy, I was like, I can't do that. I can't do that. And eventually I got a job and I got a job at Burger King. And then I sold that van. I called the junkyard. They came and got it. And I just worked at Burger King. I still paid him rent. You know, I paid him like, you know, I, I paid like a bill, like a uh, whatever bill. I think I paid hit, paid their cable bill. And then um, I was able to save up, you know, a little bit of money. And then um, I had saved up like 500 bucks. And uh, the damnedest thing, I'm on Craigslist. Ha I have no plan on buying any kind of transportation. I'm just on Craigslist. This guy has a motorcycle. This guy has a 1980, 1980 or 1981 Suzuki GS 550, and he lives in he lived in Seattle, and he's asking 500 bucks for it. And I was like, what? And he said he said it runs good. And I and I called him. I said, hey, um, you still got that bike? He's like, yeah. I said, what's wrong with it? He said, man, this bike runs good. He said, the only problem is uh, it leaks oil um, from the from the um, the manifold or something like that. He said, it leaks oil like when you ride it. He said, you can get it fixed if you want. He said, but he said, it doesn't affect the, the, the performance of the bike. He said, but, you know, if you're going to ride the bike, just don't ride your don't ride the bike with like good clothes on. Just like ride with like you know, crappy clothes on if you're going somewhere. He said, other than that, it's not that much oil it leaks, but it will get on your pants. But he said, other than that, it runs, it runs fantastic. And I'm like, I want to go get the bike, but I don't know how to get down to, like, I don't know how to get over there. And I, and I wanted the bike. So I said, man, I said, I really want that bike. I said, but I don't have a ride to get down there. And he said, do you have 500 bucks? I said, yeah, I got the 500. He said, where do you live? I said, I live in Bellevue. He's like, damn. He goes, if I bring you the bike, will you, will you buy it? I said, listen, if you, if you ride the bike, I said, as long as I can, as long as that damn thing could get me to work and back, I said, I will, I will buy it. No problem. And then he just, the next day he came, brought the bike and his wife followed him in her car. Showed me the bike. I rode it up and down the street. Ran good. Gave him the money. That bike was a lifesaver. Ah, thank God I got that bike, man. Whoa, wee boy. And let me tell you, it leaked oil like crazy. <laughs> it did. It did leak oil. Yeah, but I didn't care because all my clothes were all dingy and dirty, anyways, and all my pants were black because I worked at Burger King. So yeah, I worked there like four, like four or five days a week. And then on my days off, sometimes I'd go right into um, Seattle. Uh, but, but mainly I just kind of stayed around that town. And then sometimes I go into Seattle, I go on the freeway. Um, and, and then that sucked because when you go on the freeway and you were revving the, like with the, with the RPMs were higher, then the oil would come out more. And I'm just like, oh man, I can't take this on the damn freeway. Cause it, like, it just leaks all over my pants. So I tried not to go to Seattle too many times. There's a back way from Bellevue that you can take to go to Seattle, but it takes way too damn long. So you just, you know, on the days I'd want to go to Seattle, just, you know, you're going to get oil on your pants. That's it. And then, so I would, I would, I would wear these specific pairs of pants to, to ride out when I would go to Seattle. That's my story and I'm sticking to it guys. Sorry that the uh, story took so long. It's a very boring story. But uh, yeah, and then, and then when I left, I sold the motorcycle to somebody else. I, for, I forgot who I sold it to, so I, I sold it for what I paid for it. So that was a that was a good little bike, that, that it, you know, enough power to to take me you know up the hill. That was it. That's all I needed it for. So it was a great time. It was a great time. Fifty eight in Louisiana. I you know I thought about going down there. I don't know. Like, so here's my thing. I like, okay, starting in January, right? Start, so from January to March, I would strongly prefer to stay in an area and not leave for six weeks. Like a 100, I've done this twice before and it works out good for me and I like doing it. It's just hard to pick an area. I'm looking for a spot for for me 
to stay for six weeks starting the first week of January. And I do not go outside of a hundred mile radius. So one time I did Dallas and then the other time um, I did, I did Houston. But this time now I, I, I want to go somewhere else. So I'm thinking I'm, I'm, I'm either going to do Arkansas, but the problem is sometimes it's just too cold or I might go down and this is, I don't want to do it, but I might Mississippi. And if so, for six weeks, it'd be Mississippi videos. And I don't know yet. So I, I've, I, I don't know if I want to go too far east to do it, because if I start getting towards Alabama, then I'm going to go to Florida. And so I'm even thinking, OK, how about I just go to Florida and do it? So I'm going to give myself until uh, the middle of January to figure out if I'm going to buy a trailer, if I'm just going to have this van. And then if I don't buy the trailer and I just have this van, um, man, I, 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 I just, I might just go out to Florida. I might just like pass up. I mean, I'm not going to pass up Louisiana because there's a couple stories I want to do. And then plus there's that interview with this guy. I'm supposed to pay him. I don't know if I want to do it yet, but I might want to go down to Louisiana to talk to him. Uh, and then there's another video. There's so there's a few videos I got. I want to do in BR uh, and uh, in uh, New Orleans. Um, I, I, you know, I wouldn't mind doing New Orleans for six weeks. The only damn problem with that city, and it's not that it's you know because it's very bad. It's very very bad in New Orleans. I mean, if you've never been to New Orleans, it's a great city to like go check out and you know all that. But man, it is friggin' bad down there. The only the only part about New Orleans, the only thing I'm thinking of for like six weeks, I'm like, man, so I would stay in New Orleans for six weeks and then I would like, you know, and then, so what I do is I stay in New Orleans Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday, Saturday, Sunday, I go somewhere else. And then I and then the and then the Sunday I go back to New Orleans and I stay there Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. And then Friday and then Thursday night or Friday morning, whenever I feel, I go to another spot. So you see what I'm saying? So I stay in um in one like central area and then I I go to uh you know other areas every week. So, you know, with that I would, you know, I would probably do like, you know, uh I would do uh uh New Orleans, and then I would go to, you know, Baton Rouge, and then I come back to New Orleans, and then I go to like Slidell, or and then come back, or go to Biloxi, come back, or or go up to um, Appaloosa, Appaloosa, whatever that place is. Hey, you know what's so funny? It, I this I thought just speaking of uh, Louisiana, a thought just occurred to me. A thought just occurred to me, and about two weeks ago. So I I I so those um. So those 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 videos that I do on my other channel, like the hip hop murders, I really like doing those videos. And I know they don't get, you know, some of them they get good views, some of them they don't. And that's just the thing with YouTube. It's just like hit or miss. And you know, um the the purpose of those videos for me was, you know, of course, number one, it's crime related. And number two, I'm showing behind the music what the culture is, and the culture is mostly toxic. It just is. But also, I wanted to give some shine to a rapper who was trying to make it and then trying to hustle on the side. He got killed, and so I'm just like giving him some light. You know what I mean? He died, but, you know. So that that's what it, that, that's kind of the premise of it. And when I did that video about the, the real G money, he's the, he is the one story that, I, that made me want to do the videos, was the real G money. He's from Baton Rouge. And uh, he had a beef with, with with NBA Young Boy, so you know, listen, uh, you know they they caught the guy that you know they arrested somebody, um, but I don't know what's going on with that court case, and I know that guy bailed out. So I was just thinking, I'm like, 
I know NBA young boys see my video because I went to the location where he got killed and I went to his grave and uh, Boulevard Quick, I think that was his homeboy. He's buried, he's in the mausoleum next to him. And NBA young boy is on house arrest, right? He can't go anywhere. He lives in Utah. I don't know how long that's going to last. So I'm just thinking to myself, I said, I know NBA young boy watched my video. Now I'm not saying he watches my videos, but I'm saying I know he watched that one. Because when you're in, when you're on house arrest and you bored and you're going crazy and you can't leave your house, man, you're on you're watching everything and you start googling yourself. And I know that video came up, boy. I know that video. And as a matter of fact, I'm gonna put that video up on TikTok um, somewhere sometime in the next week or two. In the next week or two. So yeah, we're gonna do that. Uh, am I planning on doing a video at Arkansas? Uh, I, I already have. I've done a few. How many have I done? One. Let's see. How many did I do? I, one, two. I was going to do the third one, but I ended up leaving. So I, I'm going to come back and do that later, like later next year. So I got one, two, I have like three that I started on, but I'm probably not going to finish them. They're like, like sometimes I'll start a video and then I'll change my mind, but you know, I'll come back and finish it. So I'll like film the grave. So I got that. And then I could either just do a quick voiceover, put some pictures, audio, or just go back and do it. So. I have a few of those. So I definitely, I just did one today. So I definitely have two that will be coming out. Oh, well, not three because that one was actually technically Mississippi. So there'll be two coming out at least. Uh, I like Arkansas. Arkansas is, uh, Arkansas is, uh, it's cool. I, I, I want to, uh, you know, hell, maybe I'll do Little Rock. Maybe I'll stay in Little Rock for, a, for a six weeks and then kind of just, you know, maybe go to Pine Bluff. You know, they go up to wherever. Actually, three. I got three three Arkansas videos. I just remembered I got a third one. That I guess I just gotta put them together. I don't know, maybe maybe I'll make Little Rock my my little hub. I haven't done much in Little Rock and um maybe I'll do a dark side of Little Rock. I don't know. I, I, I that's another thing I need to start doing next year. I need to start getting back into like doing like because I want to start doing like small town murder vlogs, just like murder in the small town. Um you know, whatever, whatever decade it happened in, uh, do the dark side of, uh, more hood burger reviews, man. Yeah. Trust me. I like doing those, but it's man, I'm too fat to be doing them regularly. Like Saturday is usually the day that I'm like, all right, I, I'll like, you know, do a cheat day. So today I, I did a couple reviews together. Um, so yeah, if I go down to new Orleans, um, I'll find, I'll find like a hood place. Uh, I actually enjoy doing those. So, uh, more to come. Yeah, for sure. I'm glad you like those. Uh, props for surviving on the road during this collapse. Uh, I mean, there's nothing much to survive. I mean, it's, I don't pay rent. You guys are the one that has to survive. You guys are the ones that have a mortgage and a and rent to pay. See me, I don't have rent to pay. See that guy in that old arrow star. This guy has a 1993 Aerostar. That's a trip. I love those. I, I've never driven an Aerostar van in my life. I always wanted one. You remember those old uh, mid-90s uh, Ford Aerostar minivans? That real big one. It was like the size of a cargo van. I always wanted one of those, but I, and it's, I've i always bought like caravans. <sighs> yeah, so blah, blah, blah. Uh, we got a bunch of bar using weird. Wow, you guys are weird using bar soap. Seriously. Uh, how's the car man in Oklahoma doing? He actually hit me up, man. I totally forgot to message him back. Um, I'm gonna be hitting him up. Uh, we're gonna be linking up, and very soon, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna call him tomorrow. Uh, we'll be linking up. Yeah, thanks for reminding me. Damn. Yeah, I've been meaning to hit him up. Um, I'm going to be around his area. Um, actually, my, my storage unit is not very far from where he lives. I think it's about an hour and a half away. 
Uh, yeah, you'll be seeing him on a video. I can't wait. Yeah, that guy. That was that was one of the funnest videos I've ever done. That was that was fantastic. Uh, I love that. We, we got we got. I got to get that guy to like to like go into a big city. Like maybe we'll 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 do that in the future. Be like we just go to a big city because I know he ain't a big city type of guy. But uh, yeah, he's definitely gonna. We'll be doing some videos uh, for sure. Now I don't know when that one will come up, but I'm gonna give him a holler. Um, I'm gonna give him a holler tomorrow and then make plans. Uh, where he where he lives at, um, there's like an old story about um, it's like a like a I think a mind collapsed. So he was he so he he knows where the he knows where it happened at. So we might go there and go check it out. But I remember that guy when we went into that junkyard. Man, I ain't gonna lie, I was I was nervous as hell for like the first fifteen minutes, dude. I was just thinking that this guy's like son is going to come out with a rival and just kill us. And I didn't even have anything on me. So I'm just like, Oh man, that, that, that video, that video was cool though. That, that was a good video. Even if people don't like me or don't like my, you know, how I do videos, like that, that was a cool video for sure. As long as you know, the, the, um, the, the history behind it of what happened. Basically what I'm, what I'm talking about is that this guy, this, this guy that owned the junkyard in, um, God, I already forgot. Henrietta? Not Henrietta. What was the name of that town? I forgot. I think it was Henrietta. I don't remember. I love Oklahoma. Oklahoma's an awesome state. Um, might be my favorite state. Either that or West Virginia. But um, basically, four people broke into this guy's junkyard, and he killed them all. And then I think he dismembered them or something crazy. I don't know. So, yeah. Uh, just got cold and windy in south south of San Antonio. Be safe. Oh, uh, is there a storm? Yeah, somebody was telling me that there's there's like a bad storm in Tennessee. Now, Tennessee, that might be an option for me to do a 100 mile radius of if I just stayed in Nashville. However, Nashville does get cold. That's the problem. Nashville gets cold. So, um, I don't know if I want to go that far north. Um, I'm actually thinking of, uh, you know, I would do Atlanta, man. I just can't stand Atlanta. It's just, I, I can't stand that place. It's just the traffic. It, like Atlanta is like LA. You can't get anywhere. It's, there's a bunch of traffic and it stinks. I just don't like it. Like, I don't, I don't even look for stories in Atlanta. Atlanta is just a city. I don't even care to go to. It's just, I just don't care to go to. So, um, I don't know. Maybe we'll do. I don't know. Um, I, I like the idea of doing Nashville because Nashville has plenty of stories. I can I can put up with Nashville, and um, I mean, you know, you, you got Chattanooga, which is a little while. It's like a hundred miles. Eh. I mean, you got Alabama right to the south or something. So maybe we'll maybe we'll go check that or or something like that. I don't know. We'll figure it out as we go. Uh, we'll see. Uh, pretty much, yeah. That's basically how it works uh, with them. Uh, hopefully not. Hopefully not. I mean, you never know. But I, I, I don't, I don't, I don't spend uh, money crazy. I don't really buy anything. Now, I'm not gonna lie. I've, I spent a little bit more money than I've than I'm normally used to the last uh, couple weeks because I don't know why, but I bought a, another electric scooter and I'm just like, why am I buying this? Because it's Black Friday. <laughs> Black Friday, that's the only reason why I bought it. But I will be using it though. It's, it, it is a scooter that I will be using um, in certain in certain cities. And then I bought a uh, Jackery, which I didn't need it. But again, Black Friday, Black Friday just, and I, I couldn't not buy that. That was 50% off. And that thing is normally like 1700 bucks and it was like 900. So I was like, ah, let me just get it. And then, um, had to spend some other money on some other crap. And then I bought a plane ticket going out to California, which I got to call my airline, uh, Monday and cancel that. So I'll just hold it as a credit. And then maybe, uh, maybe I'll fly out to, uh, LA you know, I, I don't have a problem flying out there like in January or February. I just didn't want to go for Christmas. So I, I might do another trip where 
Um, but you know what, man? I, I really don't want to spend that kind of money that I did last time because that was ridiculous. I'll ne- and you know what? I, I just I, I know next time I'll do it a lot more. Like um, I'll be a lot more wise with that because you know, listen, when you go fly out somewhere to do some videos, like you got to do it a smart way where you make your money back that you spent because there's no way in hell I'm making the money back that I spent because none of the videos that I did, um, really hit, you know what I mean? They just, they just didn't hit, you know? And that's fine. Cause none of the stories I planned on them hitting, um, the only ones that I planned on, on them hitting, it was actually the motorcycle club videos. And I'm kind of surprised that they didn't hit. Cause I thought I was like, yeah, th- these will get good views, but I'm not even worried about them because they'll get views. It's just, you know, it's, it's just, it's, it's those kinds of videos that my channel's not known for. So no one's going to be looking at those, but you know, in six months, hundred thousand views you, you just never know with those videos so i'm not worried about that and i don't think i really did any famous graves um i did the marianne um you know that guy whatever uh when i was in la i didn't really do any um i don't know i i i, I from what i filmed in la i didn't like There's no like crazy video where I'm like, yeah, this is going to get, you know, a hundred thousand, 200,000 or whatever. It's just, it was just, everything was just normal. It was just regular. Um, you know, and and, you you don't always try to, you know, hit everything out of the park, but you know, you do want to, you do want to get views because that's how you get paid. You know what I mean? So, um, yeah, I I didn't. I didn't really have any time, you know, because what 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 messed me up in L.A. was that I got so burnt out. I actually didn't make a lot of videos in L.A. I just I was burnt out. I was just I was just tired. You know what I mean? I filmed like parts of videos for the future, um, uh, but I didn't do like any like serious vlogs. But um, Mobile Instinct plans is is planning on going out there in January, February. So I'll go out there with him, but um, I I told like I don't know if I told him this. I'm like, yo, bro, like we gotta split. Like I, I I'm not I'm not gonna try to go out there and spend that kind of money again, unless unless the only I have no problem spending money, as long as my stuff is in order. Like like it has to be in order. Like I already I, I gotta have my stories ready. I gotta have everything written out, and then bam 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 bam. That's how I work. That that that's fine. I can't just be like, all right, I got 25 videos. I didn't edit and then blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, that was a mess. Like I was just, my brain, by the time, like, uh, you know, already being a month and a half, I was out, my brain was fried, you know, and I did it. I had so many videos. Like I probably have like 80, like 80 things written down of like, do this, do that, do this, do that, do this, do that, do this, do that. And I just did not. I don't even think I did 15, which is, I don't even think I did 10. So, man. So, you know, all my videos. So for the next two months, like when people notice my uploads on my channel, they're going to be like really scattered. Like you might see one video Wednesday from Florida and then Friday in LA and then, and then you know, Monday in South Carolina. So like, I don't like doing that. So I'm just trying to get everything in order. So it's going to take me, um, until February to, 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 to get everything situated. So, uh, Craig Sapp with the five dollar super chat. Uh, thank you very much. All three of my channels, <laughs> only three. Oh, thank you uh, for the five dollar super chat, brother. Appreciate you very much. Three years, you're kind of an OG. Hell, three years ago, what was I doing three years ago? I was still working a job three years ago. Well, actually, I quit three years ago, but. No, actually, I quit four years ago, so I was not working a job, so I just lied to you. I apologize. Yeah, three years. Yeah, okay. I was uh, I was a little fish in a, in a big pond, and I'm still a little fish in a big pond, but I got a little bit bigger. But, um, you know, uh, definitely trying to uh, – definitely trying to um, grow that. You know, you always try to grow your channel, and the Lamont on the Run – I do want to grow that channel. I'm just like, I'm just kind of worried about like taking away from Lamont at large. So I'm just like, I can't really trust me. I would love to like get dead serious with the whole uh, hotels and apartments and houses. Like I want to, 
I just, I can't juggle. I, I can't do both and edit and travel because it's the traveling that takes away the time. Editing is not that hard. It takes a little bit of time, but it, you know, I don't spend like days on end on a video. Everything is quick, you know, cause my, my videos are just, cause I, I don't, I don't use videos that I mess up. If I mess something up, I just delete it and start over again. That's what, that saves me a lot of time. But, um, you know, I, you know, I just, I get worried about Lamont on the run, like kind of taking over Lamont at large. And I'm just like, I don't want, I don't want that to happen. Like, I don't want like, I, but I, listen, I ain't gonna lie. I think, I think if I, if I focused on Lamont on the run, I can grow that channel really good. But then I, I, you know, I'd have to, I'd have to streamline it. Like I can't do like opinion stuff anymore. Like no more opinion stuff. Like everything has to have like a reason. Like it has to be like, everything is like based on a, a, a house an apartment, I would go like the real estate route. I I know I can do it. I know I can do it. Oh, I got great ideas. And I am going to do them. I just, you know, I don't want to focus too much on it, you know. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, that's what it was. I just, you know, I don't like being under anybody's roof. So, uh, Lisa Evans from Paris, California. Oh, okay, what's up? Paris, California's in the building. What's up, what's up? Uh, I, I, I think, um, I don't have any stories out there, but, um, I think, isn't that where the, uh, weirdos that had all the kids, they're close by Paris. It's some, it's kind of on that side of California or something like that. Uh, 59 here in Morgantown, West Virginia. Damn, really? Yeah. It, it, it got weird. Like a, a lot of the country, like my friend, she lives in uh, Pittsburgh and she said it was 60, which isn't very far from where you're at. So yeah, you guys got a, a warm December, but then, you know, when Christmas time comes January, it's going to be cold as all get out out there. And she goes, Hey, when are you going to come to see me? And I'm like, dude, it's like, it's like, I ain't coming out there in January. Are you crazy? It's going to be like 30 degrees. Like I'm not coming out there. It's 20, 20. Oh, today the daytime high is 26. I don't think so. We're not doing that. Uh, Matt Butler. Well, thank you. Then I won't apologize. Just listen to my long, boring stories. That could be boring. I don't know. 21 degrees in Holcomb, Kansas. Have I been to Holcomb or Holcomb? Where is that? Where's Holcomb? Let me look that up. 21 degrees. Yeah, Kansas gets cold. Kansas ain't no joke. Uh, Holcomb. What's over there? Is there a story there? Let's see. Um... Have I been there? I don't recognize any cities around you. <laughs> I don't recognize and oh uh, no, I have not been there. No, no, no. Wow, you're like in the middle of Can yeah, I've never been that way. I've never like you are in the freaking middle. Um, the closest I've been to you is damn. Um, I'll tell you right now, and I got to go back there to finish the, to, to read the video because I, I made a mistake and I had to throw the video away. Where is it at? I've been to McPherson. That's kind of close to you. I know there's some, I know Dodge City. I know there's something with that. I know something happened over there. I just don't know what. Um, oh, there's a, there's a town called Liberal. I ain't going over there. No, thanks. Um, Lamar, I ain't going there either. Pueblo, Colorado, that's too far. Yeah, you're like in a weird, yeah, I never, I, I've been to, yeah, I, I, Hutch, I've been to Hutch, McPherson. Um, and where's that other town? Great Bend? I think that's the closest I've been to you. Yeah, I did a, I think I did a story in Great Bend and I messed it up. That's the closest. Uh, maybe I'll go there in the spring. I don't know. I'm for, for 2024, other than like, tr like, you know, starting to like travel outside this country, um, talking about in this country, I'd like to start going and doing, you know, videos in States that I don't, that I've either never really been through a lot or don't, or, you know, whatever. So I am going to go to Alaska, uh, next year. I'm not sure when, 
I'm thinking 10 days in Alaska. Why? Because nobody's ever done videos in Alaska that I know of anyways. Who the hell goes to Alaska to do videos? There's got to be some kind of crime videos in Alaska. So, and I've never been up there. And um, I don't know. Uh, maybe I want to go to that part of Alaska where it's like 60 miles away from Russia, Mother Russia. Kind of want to go check that out. So we'll, we'll see. Is it true you make $10,000 a month from YouTube? Um, I can neither confirm nor deny that, but I will tell you this. Um, start a YouTube channel. If you start a YouTube channel, uh, maybe you might make $2,000 a month. Hell, dude, let me tell you something. Uh, for, forget about me. Let's change the subject. <laughs> let's talk about those, uh, those other true crime YouTubers. Do you know how much money they make? They make a lot. Well, maybe not a lot, but some of them do. Some of them do. That Christina Randall broad, do you know how much money she... Guys, if you guys knew how much money she made a month, a lot of people would be like, ew. Like, they would like they would think differently of her. Because she has that other channel uh, where she, like, talks about her stupid life that people... They're like, are you just... This is why I don't like them, because they're so self-centered. It's like, dude, like I, I can't stand people who, who are, who are, they're just like into themselves, and and all of those, they're all like the same type of person. They're all like into themselves. You know what I mean? And she's she's such a dweeb. Now I do like the fact, you know, listen, you know, she's a good looking woman, and she has her shtick, and you know, a lot of people will say like, oh, are you hitting on my girl? She's, I'm her baby. I right, no. You're not her baby. She's not your mother. Okay. You got a mother and you haven't called her in two weeks and she's wondering where you're at. Okay. When you're going to come and visit her. All right. I'm glad that, you know, she, she made a life of, of herself from prison and she got that. Oh, no, that's great. You know what I mean? She's just a dweeb. And I, you know, you know, honestly, they're all dweebs to me. They're, they're all dweebs. They're just, they, they all, it's all the same they all do their videos the same way. It's just the same. It's the same. It doesn't change. It's the same. You know, I, I, I do give credit to Gabulosis, though, because she she's not like the others because she she does like older, like unsolved murders and cases and stuff like that. I was actually going to hit her up for a collab, but I don't hit up people for collabs. And like, there's no point, you know. Um, I might though, I, I might, I might reach out to her. Um, we've had some kind of interaction because somebody accidentally put her face on a thumbnail that I was using where I was talking about true crime YouTubers. And she was like, why is my face on his thumbnail? I didn't do anything wrong. Sorry, Gabby. Honest mistake. But that, but that, you know, Christina Randall, she made a video talking like with her stupid house. Oh my God. I was, I was just like, shut up with your stupid house. I'll never be able to build my dream house. This broad is making $70,000 a month. She's making seventy thousand dollars a month talking about her at, at her dream house. Your dream house, huh? Seventy thousand dollars a month. Like that's that's the kind of nonsense that I just don't like. I don't like people. I don't like whiners. I don't like cheaters. I don't like liars. I don't like BSers, and I don't like whiners. I don't like people who complain. I don't like people who complain about their their situation in life. Like, I can't stand those people. Oh, man, I can't do this because I'm that. No, you can't do that because you suck. And you can't do that because your brain sucks. Now, I'm not talking about somebody who, oh, I can't be a millionaire because this happened. Well, you know, listen, to be a millionaire, that's a that's a special mindset. It takes a special mindset of uh, of being a vindictive, greedy douchebag which a lot of millionaires are, to do that. You don't become a millionaire because you're nice. 
unless you were born into it or you're, you know, and you, you, you have your uh, minority where you're just a nice person, but you're driven and you become a million. But I believe in my personal opinion, most millionaires, they, they, they got rich and, you know, by just, just, just by being uh, a, a, a douche, just being a, a freaking douche. That's it. You did something douchey. You did something douchey and you got away with it and you're a millionaire. So, yeah, but um, I know you guys are probably like, oh, you're just hating on my girl. Whatever. Why were we talking about that again? Oh, who cares? I don't freaking know. Uh, New Mexico. Uh, nah. Irons 11, what up? What's, what's going on? Uh, if, if I do anywhere. Oh, by the way, Irons 11, dude, I've been talking about wanting to go out to the United Kingdom and you have yet to offer me an abode in your lovely fat, flat, excuse me, not fat, flat. You know, you've been a faithful subscriber of mine for what, a couple of years now. And uh, I know you live in the United Kingdom. And I've talked about me wanting to go out there to do some vlogs. And, you know, and I'm talking about like vlogs for Lamont on the run too, not just Lamont at large. And you've never, uh, you've never, not one email. Hi, hi, Mike. Hi. Hey, you can come over here. You can come over here. You can, you can store your more couch. Come on, hey there, buddy. Come on, there, governor. Come on, there. You can come stay. I got a uh, spare room for you. Hey. Nothing. No invite. Nothing. I see how you are. Uh, I see how you are. Uh, be careful. The the tornado that hit Tennessee today, it is traveling southeast, expected to hit Alabama and everything in between that path. Uh, well, thank you very much, Joyce of the San Joaquin Valley. Um, well, I'm nowhere near there. Um, tornadoes, as far as I know, don't travel in that kind of way. And then when they touch down, they don't last very long. Um, you know, not to say that it can't happen because, you know, a tornado can hit you any time. Um, it's like lightning, but, uh, thankfully I'm not, I'm not over there, but no, Hey, listen, I've been to some tornado warning areas and I've gotten nervous and it's, yeah, no, trust me, trust me, trust me. I've had some nights I'd be in Oklahoma and I'm just like, Oh God, why am I here? <laughs> I think one time I was live streaming, I was in Tulsa and I had a, I, I had to end the live stream. I was like, I can't do this. <laughs> it was too nervous. It was like 40 mile an hour winds like the entire night with like lightning storms. And I'm like, why am I here? And then my, my phone's like, eh, eh, you know, the, the, uh, the alert. Like, am I going to die in this freaking parking lot? Jeez. Do North Carolina. It's a beautiful state. Lots of stories. I would. I got a cousin that lives in North Carolina. The only problem is uh, it's too far. Um, I, I'm looking for somewhere close to um, Texas. That way, if I change my mind about wanting to go to California, I don't got to drive 2,500 miles across the country. I can just drive 1,500 miles. So I'm kind of thinking somewhere close, like centrally. Or if I just decide to fly, I don't want to fly all the way across the country. I could just fly like halfway across the country. So the furthest I want to do that where I stay somewhere for six weeks, um, the furthest is uh, Mississippi. I don't want to go any further than that. So and when I say Mississippi, I mean like probably like Jackson or Meridian or something like that. Something like that. Uh Oh, Sebastian Tarantello is from Australia. Good day, Gavin. Uh, yeah. yeah. He's a Gavin. All right, then. Um, yeah, my friend sent me a, uh, a video that somebody took in Clarksville, which is funny. I was just, I was just in Clarksville like uh, about a month and a half ago. Um, I started a video there that took a lot longer than I thought. And, well, I... When I get back there, I'm just I'm just gonna do the I gotta do the entire video over again. Cause like I just like I kept the video that I already shot, 
but I don't like doing that because certain time, like it just, it just looks different. Like if it, if the day's like sunny and then I get there, it's all like cloudy and for, I was like, I'm just going to redo everything. So that video, so I have a very, very um, interesting video that um, I'm kind of nervous to do because I know certain people aren't going to like that. I'm talking about their club, um, but I don't care. Catch me if you can. Uh, so that video, I'll, I'll go back there and, to redo it. Uh, hopefully this summer. We'll see. Evanescence is from Little Rock. Well, that's good to know because uh, that band really sucks. But uh, Amy Lee is, uh, well, she was. Um, oh, she was gorgeous. And a, and a super good singer. That's a funny, Amy Lee is a, is a funny like person because it's like she could have, I feel that she could have probably have been a pop star, but I don't know. It's like she should have, I don't know. Did she ever even like do anything with herself other than Evanescence? I don't know. Maybe she should have like, like sang like, like, like Disney songs or something. I don't know. Uh, I hear the state police in Arkansas are ridiculous, but can't be as bad as New Jersey. Dude, nobody is bad as New Jersey. New Jersey, dude, those guys are freaking tyrants. That's the New Jersey. Those are the only cops I don't like is New Jersey. That's it. That's the only state where I hate the cops. Other than that, New York, uh, NYPD, I don't like them either. But other than that, no, I hate, I hate Jersey cops. They suck. They, they're, they're terrible. But Arkansas, it's funny that you mentioned that. I'm driving uh, I'm in Arkansas. I'm in Southern Arkansas earlier and I'm, I'm driving and I swear to God, I, I, I merge onto the freeway and uh, I'm driving and I look in my rear view mirror and there's a, a state police Arkansas guy behind me. So I look at my speed and I'm, I'm doing 70 and a 65. So I take my foot off the gas and I, I get it down to about 67. Uh, and I and I put it on cruise control, so I, I keep it at 67. I never, ever, ever, ever drive under the speed limit. I just don't do it. If you're going to give me a ticket while if, you know I'm doing four or five miles over the speed limit, go right on ahead. I'm just, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to drive at 60. I'm just not doing it. So I'm not doing 67. And he stays behind me for about maybe three minutes. He's running my plates. Probably uh, reading all of the uh, felonious uh, um, warrants that I have in different states for all the uh, bird feeders that I stole and switched in different cemeteries. See, you guys, they, they, the police, they're looking for me because I like to take bird feeders from cemeteries and I steal them, but I just switch them with different bird feeders just as a as a goof, right? Just like, you know. I thought that was funny when I said it, but it really wasn't funny. You still bird feeders, but then you just switch it with it. That's really stupid. I know it was. It wasn't funny. That's what happens when you drink and you and you talk for an hour. So he's following me, uh, and then I get this. This this I I now I I recorded this. It's gonna go up on my other channel, but I didn't record though. I wish when I'm watching him, I see this car to my left, right. So the so the 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 the, the state police. He, he, he comes around me and he, and he just like speeds up a little bit and he passes me. Right. All right, cool. See you later. This guy driving like a black SUV is behind the cop. Now the cop is doing like 70 and he barely just passes me and he's going this guy, this I've never seen this in my life. This was the funniest thing. I wish I would have started recording when I seen what was about to happen. But I wasn't sure it was going to happen, so I didn't want to waste my time. He passes me, right? So he's in the fast lane, and this black SUV is right behind him. Like, 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 right behind him, like, tailgating him. And I said, why the hell is this guy, does he, like, why are you doing that? That's a, he doesn't know that's a cop? Stupid bastard. So he's tailgating him. And, I'm, and I just kept thinking, why the hell is he doing that? What an idiot. So the cop gets back in front of me, and then he kind of like, I slow down. As soon as he gets in front of me, 
I already know what he's going to do, but I'm just not sure he's going to do it. I should have put my phone in my thing. I said, nah, 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 we'll see. I don't know. So I, I lay off the gas, and then <laughs> the guy passes him, maybe doing, you know, maybe 75. And as soon as he passed the cop, beep, like lights him up. He didn't even get behind him. He just goes, beep. <laughs> What? So he probably, you know, if that cop wanted to be a, a real jerk, he he, he would have given a tailgating ticket and a speeding ticket. Like, but he deserves both those tickets because he's an idiot, dude. Like, you don't have to drive slow when you see a cop, but don't tailgate him, you idiot. Like, like I that I I don't think I've, you know, I know I've seen that before where people tailgate like cops. But that's like that's the first time I ever seen a troll move like that. It was a beautiful troll move. It was beautiful. <sighs> yeah. Dude, I you know, listen, man. I I tr bro, I you know, when the summertime comes back and like I get more daylight hours to do videos, yeah, for sure. Um, I'll I'll do a um I'll do some hotel yeah, because I don't really go looking for you know, one thing I don't do on YouTube, I don't really go looking for videos that people have already done. Like, I don't care. Like, if you've already done it, whatever. So I've never, I've never seen hotel reviews. Um, I know, uh, I know Dan Bell did the, the dirty motels, but I mean, I never, I, I never really was interested in those because his videos were too long. It's like, dude, just, can you wrap it up? Like just do a five minute, just do a five, 10 minute video about it. You know what I mean? You don't need to do a whole documentary about a dirty motel. You know, I always felt that Dan Bell, like, because he's a really good uh, videographer, you know, and, you know, maybe I don't like him. Well, not maybe I do not like him um, and I don't care for him, but um, truly a wasted talent. Uh, dude, like, I, I hope that guy really gets his like mental whatever it is that he's doing together because he should really be using his talent to, 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 to really make awesome content on YouTube for millions of people that like, you know, if it's just, he's just wasting his life away in Baltimore. I don't understand that guy, but um, I just thought it was funny, but it, when he made dirty motels, I'm just like, well, he ain't doing it anymore. So whatever. So maybe I'll get more into it. I don't know. I just, like, I feel sometimes, like, you know, I just don't want to take away from Lamont at large, but um, do I have any more dirty motels that I haven't put up yet? I know I have a, I know I have a mobile home for sale in Las Vegas. I haven't put, that's like a three minute video, not 30 minute, three minute. I have that one. I, I want to start interviewing people that live in their vehicles. Like kind of like how that what, what's that one weirdo in Arizona, Bob? What's his name? Yeah, I want to do that. Like, but not like a not a not like how he does it. Uh, but just I, I you know if I see somebody living in the van, I'm like, hey man, I'll give you a couple bucks, man. Can can we uh, can you throw away your uh, your PP jars and your your bags of feces or whatever kind of nonsense you got in the back? And if we could do, kind of do a video about like how you live your life and how you're kind of weird and and disgusting. Or something like that. I don't. I don't know. Uh, I need a Mercedes four x four RV, dude. Those things are stupid expensive. Those things. Listen, I ain't gonna lie. Another thing, like it's it's those things are not like I don't need those. Don't, you know, honestly, dude. Um, the, the like those Mercedes like four x four, and I see them sometimes. You know, those things are like a hundred and thirty thousand dollars. The people that buy those don't need those. Like you don't need that. Like it's you're just uh, you're just being a a, a a a show off. Like you just where do, when do you honestly need four by four? Where do you go? I'm not going into the mountains. I'm not I'm not in the desert climbing up rocks. It's ridiculous. Nobody, you know, people, you know, listen. Mo mo most people that buy these kinds of vehicles. They don't need them. They just want to. They just want to feel themselves. They just want to have people look at them. They're really just a bunch of nerds. You don't like. You don't need that. What do you need that like? Five, like like who honestly needs a four by four vehicle? Okay, you, you you live in a place where it snows. Okay. Okay. But 
who like who's living in a van in the snow? I mean, if you live in Colorado, like all year long, and you live in a van, yeah, okay, then yeah, you're gonna need that. Other than that, you know, most people that live in their vans and travel, like you don't need that. You're not gonna hang around in the snow. You're just not. You're not gonna get caught in it. You're gonna be a, a what they call it, a snowbird. Most people that have these kinds of, uh, uh, you know, utility vehicles, uh, these these uh, trucks, these jeeps, ninety five percent of these people don't need the vehicle for its intended purpose. They just don't. They're just they want to feel like that. They're like an adventurer. They're not. They're just a nerd. That's all. They're just nerds. Uh yeah. Per usual, I'm behind on the comments. Well, here's the thing. Here's the thing about that. Um, it, 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 I could respond to many, many comments, but then I won't be saying anything. I'll just be responding to comments. And if somebody says a comment that I want to respond to in a more um, detailed fashion, I won't be able to do that. Or I could just say, I'm only going to read Super Chats. I could be one of those douchebag YouTubers and just only read Super Chats. But I don't want to do that. You know what I mean? And, and, you know, I'm trying to see, you know, if just respond to comments that people say that catch my attention, you know. Do you know Capri Styles? I don't know if you're talking to me. Capri Sun? I love uh, Capri Sun. Those are awesome. Treasure Troller has not posted a video since your fiasco, LOL. Uh, yeah, you know, listen, um, I wish him all the best and I'm not going to really talk about it cause it's kind of over with, but, uh, you know, it's, you know, listen, that's what happens. You know, you get too comfortable around me and, uh, that, you know, I, I really blame that on me. I blame that on me because, you know, people get too comfortable around me and, and, and to segue from that, you know, the problem with, um, the problem with people that, that watch my videos is that, you know, here's the thing, you know, when you watch my videos and you see my demeanor and how I speak and, and then, you know, maybe you like my videos and kind of, you know, time goes on and maybe you've been watching me for uh, six months, you know, and then maybe you've been watching me for a year or two years or what have you. And then you, you get the impression that it's like, you kind of like, you know me, right? Because you, you see me when I'm angry. You see me when I'm elated, when I'm, you know, well, I'm never happy, but or whenever I'm excited, maybe I make you laugh in certain uh, video scenarios, what have you. And then the problem is like, then you feel like you kind of know me. And then in the event that you meet me, it's just like, maybe you get a little too comfortable with me and, you know, people, I don't know what people really kind of, you know, genuinely I don't know what what the um, the vibe I give off. Um, I don't know if people think like I'm funny or like I'm a jokester or like I don't know. I'm not really sure, like I'm a clown or or whatever goofball or what have you. Um, actually, you know what? If I were to describe myself, like if I were to step away from myself, and and and. Um, I just, I guess it just depends on who I'm around. Um, you know, I, I, I'm not, I wouldn't call myself a serious person. Um, but when it comes to certain things, like, yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't play. Like, I'm like, what, it, I, I'll tell you one thing. I'll tell you one thing when it comes to, when it comes to money, I am dead serious. I don't joke. That is that is a subject that is not funny. I don't play with that. And I'm not talking about like 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 my money or people. I'm talking about money in general. When we're talking about money, when we're talking about like, okay, listen, um, I have an idea for this and that, but we need blah blah blah. I'm dead serious. Like get, paying people, getting paid, I do not play when it comes to money at all. That's when it come, when money comes like involved. That's it. That I'm serious. Um, I mean, other than that, uh, you know, because you got to be serious about it. Because I I can't be I can't be dealing with goofballs 
you know, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not talking about like stupid things where like, oh, I'm, I'm going to invest this money into a, a pot farm. Not nothing like that. But money is a serious, is a serious subject to me. Um, uh, so, certain murders uh, are, is a very serious subject to me. It just depends on the grade of murder. You know, some murders, I'm just like, eh, you know, you were kind of asking for it. You know, you're sleeping with somebody's wife or what have you. Um, but, you know, when it comes to like, you know, children getting murdered, um, like, you know, women, you know, and, and, and men, certain situations. Yeah. You know, I, yeah, it's, it's like, yeah, very serious. Uh, those are the, those are the two things I can, I can, you know, and so I feel that we you know when, when people kind of get to know me that they, like, they, like, you know, they think like, oh, like I'm going to be like, Ooh, like, no, when it, I'll tell you like this, when it comes to YouTube, um, and, 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 and like, I'm not like dead. I don't know. YouTube is weird. I'm not like dead serious. Like, Oh, I'm, I'm a militant. It ain't nothing like that. Cause I enjoy what I do. And you know, I, 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 I I'm, I'm fine with it, but I, I will tell you this. If, if I encounter somebody, right. And, you know, and I don't real, and I don't do collabs with people. Um, you know, but if, if, if I, if I'm talking to somebody and they're like, all right, let's do a collab video. I'm serious. Like I'm serious. Okay. What video do you want to do? Like, what do you want to talk about? Oh, okay. Well, you know, this, um, this, 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 you know, this teenage boy, uh, you know, he lived in, uh, you know, he lived in, um, in, I don't know. He, he lived in uh, Murfreesboro, Tennessee, and and he went. You know, he worked at this uh, True Value Hardware, and and you know, and he was a Boy Scout. And, and okay, then all right. So if we're doing a collab, I'm serious. Okay, where did he? Okay, where did he live? Where where did he grow up? What high school did he go to? Was he a jerk? Was he a class clown? How do we find out who this kid was? Is there anything about him on Facebook? Is there anything about him on Reddit? Is there anything about him on on anywhere? Like, I'm not trying to, like, decipher a code because my videos aren't like that. But I'm trying to, like, is there is there anything, you know, and then sometimes some videos, it's just there's nothing there. But I still kind of want to get a feeling for, like, what happened. Yeah, I'm very serious about that. Very serious. I don't play with that. And, you know, I, I, I think I think when it comes to, like, collabs and meeting people, it's just like, I, I don't want to deal with other people because they're just goofballs. And, you know, I, yeah, you know, maybe I do come across as a goofball, but I, I can see past people's uh, underlying um, uh, reasons for wanting to do collabs. And it just doesn't vibe with me. You know, I, I think anybody that does the collab with somebody just because they want to get exposure, they're just you're just a rotten douchebag. You're just a rotten douchebag. Because at the end of the day, yeah, we're all trying to get subscribers. We're all trying to get exposure, but you're doing it in the wrong. You're just doing it for the wrong reason. Like you should want to collab with somebody because they share your similar interest. And maybe we can kind of like, you know, I have, I have my set of subscribers. You have yours and we're not the same person. We're not similar people. But, but, you know, we can kind of, and I don't do, I don't do similar videos. Like I, maybe I'm, you know, maybe I just, you know, like for instance, what, you know, uh, I just, uh, I do something else, right? I do diff different kinds of videos, right? Like maybe I just do vlogs where I just go out in the street and interview people or whatever. And you're like, oh, okay. And then, you know, you just kind of like, you know, you pal around and then, you know, yeah, I, I, I'm serious about that. That's why I don't just collab with anybody because it's like, I'm serious. Like, I don't, I'm not, I'm not just going to meet up with somebody and be like, all right, let's just, let's just do a video so we could just swap spit and, and, and talk crap about other YouTubers that we don't, that, 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 that are stupid. And then we could, you know, ha ha ha, you know, like, no, like, what is the reasoning that I'm here meeting you for what? Cause you're not benefiting me and I'm not benefiting you in my personal opinion. Going off on that tangent, I just feel that, uh, I don't know. People just, they, they, they think that I'm not as serious as I am. And I'm just like, no, I'm, 
I'm very serious, but I just, yeah, you know, I, I try not to, I don't like taking myself too seriously. I, I hate people who take themselves seriously. It's like, dude, get over yourself, you know, get over yourself. You know, I, 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 you know, I take myself seriously in some instances, but like, I don't ever overdo it. I, I think, I think people like that are just douchebags, uh, me personally. Uh, I don't know, man, but, um, but I need another beer. I know that because, because I'm running low kid. No, uh, yeah, I gotta, I, I'm going to call him tomorrow. If I can remember, I want to ask him if he did get those wheels. Cause he really wanted them that and he could have just took them. Cause like, dude, I, I don't think that guy had any family. Maybe we'll do a dark side of Henrietta, Oklahoma, or at least a County anyways. Um, do I ever visit film locations where paranormal activity, I don't do any filming locations. I, I don't, I'm not into those videos. I don't, I, I, I hate movies. So, uh, however, as I reach back into my cooler and I remove my thing and then I try to go into here, but I have to move my seat up and then I move it forward so that I can open my cooler. Wait, what's what is on my cooler? What is that? Oh, it's, ah, stupid! All right, hold on. I got I gotta see if I can reach in. I tell you what, I am interested in. The only filming locations, and and this isn't a real filming location, all right? But the only filming locations I'm interested in is, um. Episodes of Unsolved Mysteries and and the the based on the real location. Yeah, I like that stuff. Cause even when I was nine and I would watch Unsolved Mysteries, I would always like imagine like I wonder what that I wonder what that really looks like. And as a matter of fact, there's a um there's a there's a story from you know, some some stories from Unsolved Mysteries I'll never forget. And there is one that it's very close to where I'm at right now. I don't have the time and I've been wanting to do that for like several years and I don't have the time to go, but, uh, I am going to redo that. Like I am going to just vlog it real quick. I, it's not a, it's not a super long story. And, um, and, uh, it's funny because the, the, the victim and the killer, uh, they're, they're not very far from each other. So I can kind of do both. But other than that, like movie locations, um, me and Mobile Instinct have talked about doing one. I'm not gonna say what it is. I, I'm excited to do it because I like that movie. Um, I can't think of a movie though that I would ever do. It's, they're just so boring. I just, it's, I just don't care. And that's not to, you know, I'm not trying to offend anybody who likes that kind of things. I just, I don't like movies. I think movies are boring. I can't sit and watch a movie, I can't do it. Like, I'm just crazy. Like, like this is boring. I don't want to be here. To me, to me, watching a movie is torture. Um, I used to, I, 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 one time, I, I for like a little bit, I dated this girl uh, down in Texas, and uh, she loved movies. And I was just like, whatever. You're pretty, so I'll just go with you. And uh, we went to go see, oh, God, I'll never forget. Oh, my God, I'll never forget that. Some of you guys know who I'm talking about. So we go to this movie, right? And I'm sitting there and I'm just like, what the? And it, it the movie was um it was it was an X-Men movie and it was the one where like they have like that little Wolverine girl. I don't know if anybody remembers that movie. Um something with the kids or it was like the new the new whatever right it was like it was it was a weird x-men because like in the movie uh professor x it has dementia and uh, the movie was absolutely horrible it was like i'm in my seat and i'm just like get me this movie is terrible this is it's just a horrible movie and i'm just waiting for it to end and I, 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 I sat there and suffered, which 
the flip side of that is the other X-Men movie was fantastic. Um, the one like that, it was like based in the, in the sixties. That was, that was, inc- that was a great movie. That movie, terrible. And, and, um, a- after, after, um, <laughs> after the movie's over, um, she, <laughs> she said, so how'd you like the movie? And I said, Oh, it was good. And I said it was good because, well, we had another incident the month previous where, uh, maybe I'll tell that another time. And I was like, oh, it was good. And then later on, I finally came out and I said, that movie was horrible. And she got mad at me because I said the movie was horrible. She goes, then why'd you lie and said it was good? I'm like, what is wrong with you? What is wrong with you? Don't you see I'm trying to avoid a fight? God, I was like, why why are you even talking to me? I wash dishes for a living. <laughs> I wash dishes. Why are you even talking to me? Shouldn't she be like dating some um some uh some a dweeb or something? I, or, or maybe I was the dweeb, I have no idea. Anyways. Yeah, the good times. I wonder whatever happened to her. <sighs> Anyways, uh, blah blah blah. Uh, go to Area Fifty One and ram the gates. Uh, that that's boring. All those Area Fifty One videos are boring. However, when I do go back out to Las Vegas, uh, there's a video to do something about Area Fifty One. Not much to do with Area Fifty One, but it's up there. It's up there. Uh, I'm late. Uh, Nathan Delcate, long time no see. What's up, man? When do you come into Poplar Bluff to do the video about this lady who got killed here in the 90s? It was on the Forensic Files. Maybe you could do a video about it. Poplar Bluff. Uh, send me a, uh, uh, send me a, a uh, send me an email, like, send me an email or just text my phone the link. Uh, I'll check it out. Um, Forensic Files, I'm more interested in Unsolved Mysteries, but Forensic Files, yeah, Forensic Files, I love Forensic Files too. Poplar Bluff, dude. I, as a matter of fact, I, I got a video to do there. Um, whenever I pass through, uh, it's, it's just a, it's, it's, you know, it's a, it's just a video about a grave that I just happened to be. It was one of the, like the first graves um, that I wanted to do like a single like video about a one particular grave. Uh, he's buried at that at that at that cemetery out and out over there. Is that where you live, Poplar Bluff? That's an all right uh, area. I was kind of broken down there for like four days back uh, many years ago, like back in 17 or something like that. Uh, is there somebody behind me? Just making sure. Come to VA, you responded to a case. I have audio that my dad solved. Love to meet you and talk about that case. I have audio that my dad solved. Uh, send me send me an email Uh uh, Lamont at large at gmail.com. Uh, I don't remember if I spoke to you. Um, I'm really, really terrible at getting back, um, getting to, yeah, the email thing. Yeah. I'm, I'm terrible with the emails. I, I just, I totally, I kind of have given up on answering emails cause it's just, I can't do it. I can't sit there and answer emails. I can't do it because it's not that I I'm annoyed by it. I just don't have the time because when they email me, did I have to like sit there and then write everything down? And I'm just like, I can't do it anymore. Um, j- just send me an email. I'll get, I'll get back to you tonight. Uh, Katrina, well, thank you very much. I- I'm going to try to be as safe as I possibly can. I uh, get myself vlogging cameras. What's wrong with my phone? What, what's wrong with my phone? The, my, 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 my camera on my phone is good. I mean, unless you're watching me on a 4K TV, then I can understand. But, uh, yeah. Uh, am I... Are you going to get due to make a dead YouTuber's theme song? <clears throat> dead YouTubers? I don't think there's a dead... Uh, nah. Uh, he, he's going to do another theme song for me. Um, uh, I just haven't... I haven't started doing those kinds of videos yet. 
Um, I don't, I don't want to redo hip hop murders because he did the other guy did a good job, and I, I actually hit him up to do ghetto gas stations, but he never got back to me. And then the dude that did ghetto gas, I know him in real life. Uh, he's a buddy of mine. Um, you can almost say he's family. So uh, I, I, I always knew he was a rapper, but I, I, I mean, you know, because he's really into it. You know, and, you know, he has a he has a regular job and he just kind of does it on the side or whatever. And I, I honestly, I ain't gonna lie. Like I heard his music before; he's pretty good, man. But when he did get up, man, I was like, dude, I, he impressed me. I was like, dang, dude. I was like, man, like I was floored. And and like the song was like the original song was like two and a half minutes, and it was so difficult to cut it down for an intro. He's gonna do another one for me. Um, he's I'm I'm gonna probably have him do. Um, I forgot what 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 I'm gonna do. Um, I think it's gonna be. God, what was it? Okay, ghetto gas stations, hip hop murders. Um, it'll probably be something urban, like an urban kind of crime. You know, like maybe like, maybe I want to start like focusing on like urban crime that in, that has a true crime element but maybe it didn't get nationwide media attention something that i can make like a 10 minute video out of or something like that i don't know so yeah we'll we'll, we'll see uh we will see how it goes uh kaylee dale says she loves me no you don't do you uh yeah thank you very much love right back at you kid uh, yeah. Um, some strange missing person disappearance videos would be cool. The problem with those, and I, I and listen, um, I've I've have I ever done one? I'm sure I have. The problem with those is that like when somebody's missing, it's okay. Well, no, I did one that I added to another video. Um, okay, so that video is already it's ready to go, but. You know, right now I'm only doing three videos a week just because why am I only doing three videos a week? I don't know. I got to get out of that. I, I got to get, I, I don't want to do five. That's too many. Four is perfect. I don't know. Why am I not doing four? Like I was trying to start doing four by November 1st and I, you know, um, I think it's just because I'm just trying to get everything in order. I'm not even going to say like, I'm going to try to do it by January 1st. I don't know. Uh, maybe February 1st. Um, but that's the problem is like, I, 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 I need to get back to four week. but no, I, I have a video, uh, if, that I'm going to start. So you guys will probably start noticing it, uh, soon where if there's a story that, you know, it's, it's not that long, it's like maybe five minutes, six minutes, then I'll just combine it with a couple other stories to make it 12 minutes. It'll just be like, okay, this is two minutes. This is four minutes. This is seven minutes. And then I just put it together. It'll just be like one video. And then when the video ends, uh, I got to come up with like some kind of uh, intro to the next video. Like uh, just kind of like, a, you know, like a, you remember how Law and Order like, doo, 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 or something like that. I got to I got to have somebody make me something where like it's just like some kind of segue into something else. Uh, so some of those disappearances that are only like, you know, it's a four minute video. You know what I mean? And, you know, I, and I'll put those up on TikTok as well and, 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 uh, Facebook. Um, but for YouTube, you know, the thing with YouTube that sucks and it, it really, really annoys me, but YouTube rewards people who make longer videos. Now my videos are not long. Like some of them are a little long, but most of them are what like what like i mean what are most of my videos 15 20 and if you notice the like the other true crime nerds they're, they're some of their videos are like a freaking hour 50 minutes and i don't have a like i don't have a problem making a 50 minute video because if you guys see me come out with a 45 50 minute video i'm not saying that it's not going to be boring i'm not saying that but you know that there's going to be multiple locations or there's going to be multiple stories in one video, you know, and, um, 
Popo. Popo. Keep going, buddy. Keep going. There's nothing to see here. I'm just drinking in my van. That's all, buddy. Hey, if hey, 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 officer, if you're a fan of my channel, uh, put your lights on right now and go boop boop if you're watching right now. Come on, can we get a boop boop boop? Well, I'll drink to that. Anyways, so to 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 just get past that. As I take a sip, let me see. Let me make, make sure he's not looking. Okay, he's over there. I'm not trying to make longer videos. I'm not. I, I don't even look. I don't even look for stories that are longer to do. Like I just don't. Like I'm not interested in that. But that's what YouTube likes. They will. They will reward people who make longer videos by putting them into the algorithm. Like now, it's not guaranteed. But, you know, YouTube is like this. For the most part, they're like, you know, you make videos, but, you know, if you make videos a little bit longer, which, you know, you'll get an extra commercial in it, then we'll maybe we'll suggest it more, right? And that's kind of how it works. And I do want to make longer videos, because not, not only because of that, but because some people, some people like, the longer video. Some people don't. Some people are like, man, I like your videos when they're 15 minutes and that's it. And me personally, I like videos that are 15 minutes and that's it. Now, some people, some some YouTubers, I could live, I I could I could I could watch their video for like I don't know, um, like Angry Video Game Nerd. He's probably like, if I have to like go on my list, he's probably my favorite YouTuber ever. Um, but his new videos, it's just not the same. It's just not the same. Like, I, he's my favorite YouTuber because, like, when I was, like, you know, when I, you know, when I was in Seattle sleeping in my van, um, he's the first YouTuber that I noticed that, like, I, that I understood what YouTube was. You know what I mean? Like, he's a, he's a YouTuber, like a content creator guy. And, He's like the first one that I actively subscribed to and would check all the time and watched all of his videos. Like I'd be in my van smoking my black and mild, <laughs> watching all his videos. Oh, it's great. He's like the greatest YouTuber ever. Now, of course, you know, he got older, he got richer. He's making a crap ton of money. That guy is probably, I'm sure he's a millionaire. And it's just not the same. Like when he was younger, like he was angry. Now it's just like, he's like old and not as angry. It's just not like his videos are not nearly as, as good as like literally like his videos are timeless. I like right now, I kid you not. I kid you not. I've probably watched all of his videos at least four or five times, like throughout like the, you know, 10, 15 years, actually, you know, more, more than 15 or 20. Like not twenty, but more than fifteen. Because I've been I've been watching him since two thousand and seven. So, so basically, what I'm trying to say is like you know, like me, like I like his longer, like like his videos. They're really good when they're like twenty minutes, and that's it. Maybe twenty five, but no longer than that. But sometimes he he's made like you know really long videos. I'm like that's it, like I'll you know if I don't watch the whole thing that night, I'll I'll finish up the rest tomorrow. And. You know, I, that's why I like, that's why if you look, you can go on my video, you can go on my channel. Everything is like, just sometimes it's 15, sometimes it's 20, sometimes it'll be 35. I just don't want to upload like four 30 minute videos in one week. It's just, no, that's too much. You know, what, I, what I'll normally like to do is, you know, one video is five minutes. One video is 13. Another one is 17. And then, I don't know, maybe one will be like 30. Or, or 38. I mean, I think the, from what I can remember, the longest video that I have ready to go is like 38 minutes. It's the faces in depth in Ohio. And that was a pretty good, it's a pretty, I mean, I don't know. I I, I think it's okay. It's, there's, there's some interesting graves in there, you know, and, and, and it is my mission for next year to do more cemetery videos. I'm not saying I'm going to get away from the true crime, but to get back 
to doing not only the cemetery videos, but also doing um, more older cemeteries, more like, you know, start doing abandoned cemeteries, like actually taking the time to go out and go find abandoned cemeteries, uh, find abandoned locations. I'm not trying to say I'm going to start doing abandoned videos. No, but just, you know, just kind of broaden my uh, horizons a little bit uh, there. So, uh, yeah, just abandoned stuff. Uh, you know, uh, more cemetery videos, basically. More, you know, faces in death, more uh, forgotten in death, more just uh, abandoned cemeteries, like maybe a little bit of history. Maybe, it's, you know, maybe a, a 15 minute video at a very small cemetery in the middle of nowhere. Like, okay, what this cemetery has 80 graves. Who the hell are these people? You know what I mean? Like, who, like what were their lives? Like, you know, 15, give, give them 15 minutes. Okay. Let's, let's talk about it. Like what kind of stone is this? Um, just gonna get just a little bit more involved, not boring. I'm not trying to like start doing boring videos. Just, uh, you know, switch it up a little bit, you know? So, yeah. Uh, Detroit in the summer? Um, maybe. Uh, be square, beware. Long time to see what's up. Yeah, send me some stuff. Um, definitely, uh, definitely will do that. Right, Lynn, long time to see. Hey, girl. Hey, next time you're paying, kid. Next time you're paying. What's up? Uh, Jen Du, thank you very much. Very raw. Very raw. Uh, Wilhelmina Provost with the 999. Hey, didn't you invite me uh, for uh, for lunch and you flaked on me? You're in northern Nevada, right? Yeah. North, yeah. Yeah, you said, you said, yeah, I see, yeah, you got to, you know. I actually have another uh, video coming out of Northern Nevada. I'll put that out on Monday, I think. Uh, so I got one more. Wait, one more video in, the, in Northern Nevada. Yeah. So that yeah, that one will go up on Monday. And um, I, I really enjoyed. Like I really like Reno. Like I think of my entire trip, the my favorite part of the whole trip was Reno. Like I, I, I really like Reno. I, I want to go back up there. You know, I don't have again. I don't have a problem flying over there and just like chilling out, renting a car, and going down. But it's like I just gotta, I gotta have like everything more streamlined. So uh, we'll be back in Reno. I don't know if it's gonna be this summer. Um, maybe you know we'll we'll see. Like. In February, towards the middle end of February, we'll start to try to decide what we're going to do. But my 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 main thing is I'm really really wanting to um, take a trip out overseas. So uh, that's that's my main goal, for sure. Uh, Kale is in it, Billy. What is up, girl? Uh, there she is. She's been quiet for a while. Kale is in the building. <clears throat> That's right. Yeah, more money, but more money, more problems. Uh, what do you think about a grown man having his pants below his butt in public in front of kids? Um, I'm actually, to tell you the truth, I don't see that as often as I used to. I don't know if the style is starting to fade out. Um, but no, I, you know, they're just uh, bums. It's just, you know, yeah, it's, it's just, it looks, it's, you know, it's just tacky looking. It's, it looks sloppy. It looks stupid. But honestly, I, I haven't even really, I don't think that's a thing anymore. I think that's, I actually think that's fading away because I don't really notice that anymore. Maybe it's getting played out. I, I have no idea. I mean, maybe it depends on what part of the country you're at, but I ain't going to lie. I don't recall seeing that at all. Like, I don't even remember. So maybe they stopped doing it now. I, I haven't looked. I haven't looked at guys' butts in, in at least a week. At least a week. Um, no, uh, usually it's the other way around, but uh, I've been getting disappointed lately. So with all the uh, fake uh, surgeries. So, yeah. 
you saw a small star UFO several years ago. Okay, well, well where's the video? Any North Dakota videos? Yeah, I was supposed to go there this summer, but uh, the LA trip, like that, that, that LA trip in the Florida, that real, like that two and a half months really like took away from South Dakota, North Dakota. Um, like, yeah, I, for, for that two and a half months, I'm supposed to do North Dakota, South Dakota, um, Illinois, Wisconsin, and, um, and, uh, and Minneapolis. I was actually supposed to do that area. And then when it started getting cooler, it's like start going more towards Ohio and then go out for the winter, um, not the winter, but the, the fall into, uh, uh, you know, the New England states. And then when it got cold, go down south. But just because of that, that L.A. trip, I don't know. You know, listen, man, California, Los Angeles, man, I don't know, man. I've been telling myself, I'm like, man, maybe you should just stay out there for three months. But I just, it makes me, ugh. Just the thought of staying out in Los Angeles for three months. And I'll tell you what, if I were to do that, I do not want to sleep in my van. I just don't. Like, I just, I don't feel like looking for parking. I don't feel like dealing with traffic. I just don't feel like doing it in the van. Like, I just, I mean, I, I will because, I, you know, I just, I don't want to, I don't want to rent a room. I'd rather just sleep in my van. And the only way I would rent something for three months and stay in LA is if I sublet and it wasn't a crazy, a crazy amount. Like I'm not going to pay $3,000 a month. It's just not worth it. Now, if somebody has something, you know, for 2000 bucks a month, and then I'm like, all right, $2,000 for three months, that's six, that's six, you know, $6,000. Is that worth it? Depends on where it's at. I only want to stay on the west side. The, the, the excuse me, not the wayside. That's the jail. The west side, like that's I. That's all I would live at. I'm not gonna live anywhere else. I I will not live anywhere else in L.A. But on the west side, I'm just not gonna do it. I'm not living in Compton. I'm not living on the east side. I'm not living in East Los. I'm not living in none of that. I'm not interested. Only on the west side. That's it. Um, I'll do the valley on the west side too. Um, Canoga Park, uh, uh, Chatsworth is too far. Uh, I would do like Burbank, uh, Glendale, maybe um, not much further east than Glendale. Um, Hollywood, not. I don't want to do Hollywood. I just want. I just want to be on the west side. I want to be on the west side with all uh, all of the uh, Hollywood celebrities and YouTube ballers. <laughs> YouTube ballers. How come I didn't run into any YouTubers when I was in uh, Los Angeles? How come no YouTubers hit me up when I was in Los Angeles? How come I didn't run into any? I'm, I was a little, I was, oh, you know what? You know, it was a, a little funny. Um, and, but, and funny, but what are you looking at? Why are you looking at me? No, you cannot, do not park by me. Just be yeah, a park over there. Don't park by me. Like I am like, but, well, there's a, weirdo right there next to me but like yeah like so they just got here because they're like looking for a place to, to camp like dude like go over there like why are you even looking my direction like i don't want to be like please don't park next to me I, I i still haven't got over that that nightmare uh from like 2000 uh, hey was anybody in my live or like w when i was um in san antonio and this lady it was like 25 degrees it was like cold as hell for three nights and this lady parked right next to me and was like rev and she like woke me up revving her engine and her is like rah, rah, and just like to get the heat. And I'm like, what are you doing? She woke me like it was 3 30 in the morning, 25 degrees. Rah, rah. She was like parked right next to me. And I got out. I'm like, what is wrong with you? Like he just woke me up and it's 25 degrees. She was like, she was crazy. Like I I just I didn't buy, I just left. I'm like, you're nuts going like next to me. And anyway, so what I was going to say was uh, I didn't get recognized not one time in L.A. Not one time, which was good. I don't like I don't I didn't want to get I, I, I don't care if I get recognized. But in L.A. it's a little bit different, it's a little bit dicey. So I was just like, I hope nobody recognizes me in L.A. because they might not like me. You know what I mean? 
but that was cool. Like nobody, nobody. Oh wait. Well, no, no, I didn't get recognized, but somebody that knows somebody like knows me, but they didn't, they weren't there that day, but they wanted to, they didn't, I mean, I'm not saying they wanted to meet me, but they were like, they, they would have liked to have met me, but like, I was, it was like, whatever, but, um, yeah, no. Okay. So, so now, so now what they're going to do is so that now they're going to see that their, their, their light is in my, in my face. People are so stupid. So you you know your lights are in my face, right? I swear to God, like, okay, so they turned them off, but I, I God, I, you know, I've been meaning to make a video about this on my other channel. I am, I, I, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I really hate, um, van dwelling YouTubers. Like I hate them cause they're, they're all, they, they're all just, yeah. I hate people who have channels where they just live in their van. They're just all stupid. It's just the same nonsense. I just, I hate them. I really do. And like this, like this douchebag that had his, it's like, dude, you had your lights in my face. Like you don't even need to have your lights on. Like if you know, you're going to like, if, listen, listen, check this out. I'm not trying to be an a-hole, <clears throat> excuse me. But if you know, like you're going to park, right. And there's people sleeping in their vehicles, right. Listen, listen, listen. When you park and your lights are on, if you know that you're going to turn like head on with somebody and they're in their car, when you're before you even start, turn your lights off. Don't turn with your light, turn them off. Like, turn them off. Like, why, why are you? You're in a parking lot, you're in a Walmart parking lot. There's four cars here. There's four. It's me, that weirdo. The other weirdo, and then I think this weirdo, I don't know what's wrong with this weirdo. Maybe he maybe he beat his wife and he's hiding from the cops. I don't know. But you don't need your lights on in the parking lot. And I don't want to, I don't want you to shine your lights in my face. I, I prefer you not do that. So turn your lights off. Like when you pull up and you're and you see and you know that somebody's like like now, if they're in their back sleeping, I don't care. If you see that somebody is in the driver's seat and you're going to turn and your lights are going to turn, turn your lights off. Tur just turn them off. You don't like, you don't need to shine your stupid lights in my face. Like I don't need to see your stupid lights because the only reason why I'm not shining your, my light at you is like, I, I keep forgetting to get a flashlight to keep with me for people like that, when they want to shine their lights, I just like go like this, like, oh, you, you like lights in your face? Because that's that's what I'm experiencing when you put your stupid lights in my face. It's just things like that that get on my nerves. Uh, people are just people are just really dense and dumb. I don't like I don't like dumb people. I don't like dumb people. So maybe maybe some of you guys out there will take my uh, my warnings. Yeah, but I didn't. I didn't run into any YouTubers uh, in LA. I didn't. I didn't run into any YouTubers in LA. I mean, not that I would have wanted to, because there's there's no YouTuber in LA that I ever. I mean, except Trisha Paytas. Trisha Paytas. You know, um, I would have liked to have had her <clears throat> on my channel, but you know, I keep forgetting that this broad is really well known. Because I don't look at her like that. Because I think you know, listen, t between me and you. She's a freaking dweeb. And I'm like, you can't possibly be famous. <laughs> but she is. So I'm just like, okay, so I can't get her for a collab. I mean, I made that video kind of saying, like, you know, I'd like I I, I would have loved to have met her and Moses and her and her husband. Yeah, sure. You know, like, yeah, sure. I did that video like for the for the H3 dweebs podcast thing, but 
like, no, it's like, I'm not attracted to Trisha Paytas at all, but I, I think she's like, I think she's like fun, a person. I think she's a fun person. And I think that whatever guy that she's with, I think she's a fun person. I think she has enjoys her life. Um, I think that, yeah, I think she plays up her craziness. She obviously has some kind of issues, but not nearly the issues that she tries to portray. And I would have hit her up like seriously, like on the slide on, you know, I'd have been like, listen, uh, but she wouldn't have done it because you know, she's, she's full of herself. You know what I mean? Like the, the, the thing with these YouTubers are like when they start getting big, you know, cause this broad was on Dr. Phil with her fake nonsense, sexual identity, nonsense crap. And you know, when you are a social media person and you get like all these adoring millions of uh, subscribers and fans, oh, I love you, I love you. You know, they get all these emails. They get a big, stupid head. And they really think like that they're like royalty. And she might actually be a YouTube royalty. She might actually be. I don't look at her like that. She's a dweeb, but I like her. Not in that way, but I like her as like, I want to meet her. Like I want to meet her and I want her to come on Lamont at large. And that's it. Like, I don't, I, I don't need a shout out from her. Like, it's not for me to get subscribers. I can care less. Trust me. If I, if I want to start getting subscribers, I already, I already know what to do. And it's, it's called move to Los Angeles and do all the cringy Los Angeles vlogs. Do all the cringy nonsense. I already know what to do. And I'm not terribly interested in it right now. But I, I would like for Trisha to, uh, i like to meet her. I'd, li I'd like to go out to, to dinner with her and just kind of just, I don't know, just, just talk about her or whatever. That's the only Los Angeles YouTuber that I want to meet. Other than that, I mean, I don't, I don't even really know who lives in LA. I don't really pay much attention, but I know she, I don't, I don't think she lives in LA. She probably lives in like, she probably lives like a little bit outside of LA. She probably lives in like, uh, she probably lives in, doesn't she live in like Malibu or something like that? I can't believe that broad is a multimillionaire. That is absolutely crazy. That is absolutely insane. So, yeah. But, uh, you know, she never responded. She never hit me up. And uh, she's not going to. So I'll, I'll eventually, I'll make a video uh, professing how, you know, broken my heart is that she did not, uh, you know, that she didn't respond, you know. So it was very, very sad. I, I wish she would have. But, uh, oh, well. Oh, well, um, there's actually a, you know, no, there's a couple, there's a couple YouTubers based out of the LA area that I would like to link up with. Uh, one of them was Crip Mac, but he's, uh, he, he just got arrested a couple days ago. Uh, so he ain't getting out. So he's, he's done. That guy's cooked. I actually hit up Crip Mac for a, for a collab, but you know, that guy, you got to pay him and you know, he's not worth it for me to pay. So I just, I, I never really, I never really, you know, I never really took him seriously because I'm like, dude, I'm not going to pay you. So that ain't going to work. So, uh, but I, I would have liked to have met Quip Mac, um, did a, did a vlog with him. There's really, there's another guy I wouldn't mind linking up with. And I, I, I am going to, I, like next time I go to LA, I am going to hit him up. Uh, I'm not going to say who he is because then you guys are going to like go to his channel. Hey, Lamar wants to meet you. Yeah, no, but, oh, and he will definitely meet up with me. He knows who I am and he'll definitely meet up. I'm not saying he'll definitely be to kiss my butt. No, it's like, like he, he knows about my OG channel and he's like, he stopped by a few times and no, I'm definitely tapping in with him. So, uh, we got to figure out like some stuff. I, I haven't messaged him yet, but the next time I plan on going to LA, I'm going to hit him up and be like, yo, bro, I'd like to meet you. Um, you know, 
let's let's figure something out. Like I'm not sure if you know, because we're we're two totally different styles of videos, like two different subjects. But um the hell? What the hell is this? What are you trying to break into the garden section? Look at this guy. You see you see my hand? What are you doing? Should I get my flare gun? What's this guy doing? He must be a pervert. Only only perverts drive Kias. I drive a Dodge. But uh, yeah, I'll definitely be hitting him up when I get out there. Other than that, what are what other LA YouTubers? I can't think of any. I mean, LA is a place where YouTubers YouTubers exist, right? Like, isn't there like an LA? When Ice Poseidon was in LA, then they had like the LA weirdos, right? And then he went out to Vegas or something like that, and they had the Vegas like YouTube weirdos. I know there's Vegas uh, YouTube weirdos out there, right? Vegas has its own like Vegas YouTubers, and they just they just do prototypical Vegas stuff. It's like, and and they're popular because you know the 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 the. I would say kind of the main reason why my channel is underperforming in my personal opinion is because like, I don't stick to the same thing. Like that's, that's what makes you, that's what makes you like golden on YouTube is you stick to the same thing. Like that's it. That's all you do is just that. And I can't stand that. It gets on my nerves. Like if I just did cemeteries, like if all I ever did was cemeteries, I probably have more subscribers and get more views, but it's like, I don't want to do cemeteries. It's, it gets boring. Just walking in a cemetery, like, like that would drive me absolutely bonkers. I was just like, like, get me out of here. Take me, hurry up. Take me to a crime scene quick. I'm going crazy. And I said, I don't want to do that. But people like that. People like, they like, you know they like normalcy. That's that's what. No, that's what normally people like, right? Like normalcy or something like that. I don't know. So blah blah blah. Wow, two hours. Two hours have been live. Jeez, Louise. Sorry guys, I didn't know it was that long. Uh, I apologize. Uh, that's that's really really long. Uh, John Coleman, I'm dude you met at the gym in PA. John Coleman, I'm I'm dude you met at the gym in PA. Okay, Pennsylvania. Who did I meet at a gym in Pennsylvania? I met you at a gym in Pennsylvania. Well, I was definitely fat. So you already seen you already seen how I look like in real life, which is probably embarrassing. Um, John Coleman, wait, wait, you mean, wait, you mean like the dude that does like the physical fitness training, like the 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 the, the tall black dude, John Coleman, the are you, the physical trainer fitness guy, or something? Is that you? That's the only. That's the only person, it, it was either you or like the Mexican dude with the tattoos on his face that does like the powerlifting at the cemetery that I ran into. Those are the only two guys that I remember that have anything to do with a gym in PA. Other than that, a gym in PA. There was that black guy in Philadelphia that I that I got into it with at the gym. He tried to get an attitude with me uh, because he, he thought I wasn't, uh, he thought I wasn't with the, with the shiznit, but I, but I was. So he, see that, see that guy, he thought he was like, oh, this, this guy is like, no, he thought wrong. As he definitely done wrong. Uh, that's for sure. Um, but other than that, I can't think of anybody I met at a at a PA gym. Wait, is it PA? Is it Philadelphia, P Pittsburgh, uh, PA. That's that's really the only cities I go to in PA is Pittsburgh and Philly. Uh, yeah. I, I know, guys. I, I'm probably uh, probably behind on the chat uh, or something like that. So, uh, so yada yada yada. I wonder who he is. 
I, mean, I, I don't know. I, I, I want to say he's the guy that's outside of uh, uh, Philly that I met up with. He, like he's like he trains like uh, like like beginning athletes or something like that, or something. I, I, I don't remember. That was that was a, that was a couple of years ago, I think. Uh, what do you think about some guy playing baseball just got seven hundred? Oh, jeez, <laughs> it's that guy. What is his name? Shohei Otani. Oh God. Oh my God, dude, this guy. What is his name? Shohei Otani. He played for the Angels. This guy just signed a ten-year, seven hundred million dollar contract. <laughs> And let me tell you, um, this, <laughs> I don't even know how to say his name. Is it Shohei Otani? He's a Japanese baseball player. He played for the Angels. This guy is a pitcher, but he can also hit like really well. So he's like the first, I've never seen a guy ever in my life that can pitch and hit and he's a he does he does both very well i don't know his numbers because i don't follow baseball like that but he can he can pitch and he can hit is he 700 this guy 10 years 700 million dollar country los angeles dodgers i hate the dodgers i hate the dodgers i hate them like I hate the Dodgers. Uh, long story with why I hate them. Um, I mean, it's absolutely mind-boggling. Ten years, seven hundred million dollars. I don't know how old he is. Um, I, 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 I don't, I don't even know what to say. I mean, first of all, you're in California, so like you're already like half like what is it? Forty five percent of that money is taxed. So whatever. So after <laughs> after tax, he only walks away with four hundred million. Um, I, I mean, what do you say to that? Um, do you even make your money back, or do you not look at it like that? You know, the Dodgers, you know, they, you know, I, the reason why I hate the Dodgers was because they were such, how do I, how do I say this? They wasted so many years with having a bad owner and just having a poorly run franchise. And then you couple that with all of the LA gangbangers wearing Dodger gear and I hate gangbangers. And I just like I I just it's like I don't want to like I I got tired of seeing LA because look listen like you guys probably don't know this if you live in Los Angeles if you wear a Los Angeles Dodger baseball cap uh, you're probably a gangbanger like it's just it's a gang thing to wear an LA Dodgers hat now if you're a white guy and you're like oh, oh Dodgers yeah nobody's gonna think you're a gangster but if you're like Mexican or you're black and you wear LA Dodgers that's a gang that's a gang thing that's like you're a gangbanger. If I, let me tell you something. If I was walking down Manchester and Western and I had on an LA Dodgers hat, somebody might hit me up. That's just how it is. And I and I I associate that like gang gang stuff with a crappy franchise in the mid late 90s and early 2000s and I was done with them. I was like, I'm good. And then I, I rooted for the Angels when I was in jail, like during the World Series 2002, I was in jail when they won. And I've been a, I've been an Angels fan ever since. Now the Angels, like, you know, they won that World Series and the Angels is like a funny franchise because they're they're competing with the Dodgers and I don't know. Um, so I don't know, 700 million, 10 years. I hope the Dodgers never win a World Series. I never want. And then the last one they won, that wasn't even real. That wasn't a real World Series because that was all during COVID. And Clayton Kershaw, he just, 
Clayton Kershaw, a great pitcher. In, uh, he's a great pitcher unless you need him. When you when you need him, he just he just he just doesn't pitch good under pressure. He's still an okay pitcher under pressure. He's just not a very good pitcher under pressure. And uh, again, I hope the Dodgers never win a, a World Series. I, I hate the Dodgers, and I almost damn near hate the Raiders too. I'm not on like I'm I'm on the fence. Like I'm tired of the Raiders, but the, the Dodgers, I will never like I'll root for the Raiders if, if if they can if they can give me a season where they where they like they stop the 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 dysfunction and the nonsense and the killing uh, DUI nonsense the. Raiders moving to Las Vegas was a terrible mistake, not only for the franchise, but also for the city. Los, the Las Vegas Raiders, terrible. Listen, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm sure the the benefit of the city is like you know. Oh, we have the Raiders. They turned that town into a joke. It's it's just terrible. That's what I think. I could be wrong. But all they did when they moved to Vegas, all they did was raise the cost of everything, everything. And what 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 does somebody that lives in Las Vegas get out of it? Now, if you own a home, yeah, your taxes go up because the that the the, the 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 value of your property went up. But what do you really get out of it? Like tax dollars going to a school or something? I don't know terrible t listen if i lived in las vegas i would be so angry that the raiders came like just get out of here thankfully thankfully it's not a total disaster because football is only three months a year so if it was you know now they're trying to get like a baseball team and it's it's getting close it looks like they i haven't really read anything new yet in the last two months it looks like they're going to get the uh the oakland a's into uh so las vegas is they got they got football which i'm shocked i can't believe they got a football team it's it's still weird to me like the las vegas raiders it just sounds stupid now they're going to be getting a baseball team and next thing you know they're going to get a basketball team just las vegas i don't know I, I can understand a baseball team but a football team i don't know i don't know but I'm tired of the Raiders, but the Dodgers, the Dodgers, I will never, ever, ever root for them. I want them to lose every day. The Raiders, I don't care about them. They, they, they got it. They got it. They got to put together a winning season. I'm tired. 20 years of losing. I'm tired of them. But the Raiders, the, the Dodgers, they can, they can go jump off a cliff. Well, hopefully they have a parachute. Oh, yeah. Anyways. Uh, there's other things I like too. I like uh, Mc, Mc, uh, actually, you know, I'm getting tired of McDonald's coffee. Uh, they, they've been making me really crap coffee. Like I'm tired of them. I'm really like if I can find a Dunkin' Donuts, I will go to Dunkin' Donuts uh, ten times before I go to McDonald's. McDonald's is just force of habit. I'm just I'm getting tired of McDonald's coffee. Their coffee is not is no longer that good. It's it's actually actually I'll tell you the truth. McDonald's coffee is actually just trash now. So I got I gotta stop going there all together. Maybe, you know, you know, I just got to stop being lazy and just go to a gas station in the morning. Instead of going to McDonald's, just go to a gas station and go get your own coffee. Just get out of your car. That's it. Uh, looks like people want Lamont to become Bill Cooper 2.0. Bill Cooper 2.0. I'm actually, I'm actually going to do that video. I just, I haven't got to AZ yet. That's it. Uh, that's a really uh, crazy story. That's a really crazy story about that guy. So, uh, nothing but silicone. I'm back again. Uh, will you please visit haunted places with your personality? Make for one damn good series. Oh, well, thank you. Nothing but silicone. Uh, haunted places on Lamont at large. I don't know. That would be kind. Of, I mean, I've did. A, I've done a couple of videos related to that. Um, yeah, no, it, it, it's 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 gonna happen. Um, yeah, I. 
I have it like really like do I have any videos coming out that anything related to haunted? No, but they'll they'll come out. I'll um when I when I start getting everything situated and, and in order, um yeah, I'll I'll start doing those. I think I did one in uh where was I? Uh Cedar Rapids. It was kind of it was all right. You know, it, you know, it got whatever views. I'll I'll do some more of those. Just um I got one in Georgia uh, planned. Uh, is there anything in Oklahoma or Texas, Arkansas? Um, I mean, there's everything everywhere. But um, I got a well. There's this one's not really haunted, but I got a I got a pretty cool story in Louisiana to do. Um, I've been wanting to do that. To excuse me, I want I've been wanting to do that for a couple of years now. Um, not not going to tell you what it is, and the thing that sucks is. There's really no location, like exact location, and there's no grave. But basically in Louisiana, there is a story of a person that existed and nobody knows his name. Nobody knows who he was, but he was, he was a person and we're going to talk about him and I'm going to try to, I'm going to try to at least get as closely to the location where he used to live. His house, of course, long gone. This is an old story, but we will. The story starts in in central Louisiana. It probably ends in Baton Rouge. So we'll we'll do that story and uh, we'll try to. It's an interesting story to say the least. I've been wanting to do it for a long time. But yeah, th no ghost stuff. Yeah, twenty twenty four. We'll throw we'll we'll throw some. We'll throw some stuff out there. And listen, you know, I'm not, you know, listen, I'm not going to be one of these nerds that I get like, oh, hey, I got a, I got a, a radio. Hey, hey, I got a, oh, you know, listen, I'm not against the idea of using that. I'm just, it's not my thing. I'm not going to start using like, like, like gadgets and nonsense. And I'm not trying to play things up because it's stupid. All right. But. If somebody else uses it and I happen to be with them, hey, that's on you. I'm not bringing it. That ain't my thing. That's your ghost transmographer, not mine. Listen, I'm open, and I'm not. I'm not saying I. There's an open invitation. Uh, invitation, uh, but I would be open to one of these ghost YouTube guys saying, hey man, uh, you know, I'm a ghost guy. You want to tag along? Yeah, sure, I'll call your nonsense out, but yeah, I'll tag along. Yeah, I'll do it. No one's ever hit me up. You know? And and I actually did do a video with a, with a thing. I, I didn't put it up though because the editing is just like, I don't want to edit it. I just don't want to bother with it. And it's like, I did it like a long time ago. So I, I don't, I don't know. Cause I just don't want to edit. I don't, I don't want to edit it. That's the problem. I don't want to deal with like, I don't have the time to edit stuff like that. Like I just don't want to do it. But I did do a video with somebody and I'm not going to lie. It was interesting. And I think people would have enjoyed it because it was kind of odd. I'm not going to say it was true. I'm just saying it was, it was, it was odd, but I, 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 you know, it's like the video is too old because I did it two years ago. So if I go out back again to like North Carolina and I hook up with them, we'll, we'll do it again. We'll redo it. And then I'll, I'll edit it. But I just, I don't like editing that stuff because you got to do a lot of cuts and you know, you're basically recording while you're waiting for something to speak. And you know, like, I, like, I don't do that kind of like editing. I don't know how to do it. Like I'm just staying. I'm like, all right. And then I'm like, okay, all right. And then I got, again, I got to cut that. And it's like, that's annoying, but I, I'll, I'll do it. Maybe I'll, I'll do it. Uh, but thank you for the, uh, nothing but silicone, the $10 super chat. Nothing but silicone in the building. Ghost coming to a theater near you. So yeah, we'll see. Anyways, uh, thank you, Darwin. Yeah, uh, I did the Pop Smoke one, and uh, 
yeah, that, that video, um, you know, I, I want to do more. Uh, do I have another hip hop murders in me anytime soon? You know, I've been wanting to do the MO3, man. I just, I, something tells me don't get in, don't get involved in that. Um, and if I do like, don't show us grave. So that's why I'm just like, don't do it at all then. So MO3, it's a crazy story and I want to do it, but I want to show his grave. But I, 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 I feel that if I show his grave, that then I'll be giving, like, I'll be like letting people like go vandalize it. So I don't know. I just, that's the only reason why I haven't done that video yet is because I'm like, if he's got enemies that hated him so bad that they shot him in the middle of a freeway, like what are they gonna do to his grave? And then they, they see my video, they're like, oh yeah, let's go, let's go do something. Let's let's go, you know, piss on it. Or, that's why I don't do it. And if I can't film the grave, then I don't want to do the video. So I don't know. I want to do that video. I just I just I haven't decided whether I should go with it or not. There is another um, there is another rapper I might do a hip hop murders on. Um, that's based in Texas, but like no one has ever heard of him. Uh, no one's ever heard of this guy. And um, I don't know, I, I, I would have to like, cause I think, it ha I think the murder happened in the late eighties. So I'm like, I gotta find like, is there any information like I can find to make like at least a 12 minute video? So we'll, we'll come back to that one. So like he's on my radar, he's in my folder. Um, of course, going down to Houston, uh, Fat Pat, uh, Big Hawk, got to do those guys. So they'll, they'll be their own video. And then, um, or or I'm either going to do a hip hop murders with those guys, or I was thinking about doing like a bigger video, like hip hop graveyard of all like the Houston guys. Cause there's, there's a few, there's like six, seven of them. And then of course, going down East, Baton Rouge, going to New Orleans, I got to do, uh, Soldier Slim, I gotta redo that video. I gotta do a Soldier Slim video, like going to the Mert, like Soldier Slim. I gotta do that. Um, what, what's the girl's name? Um, the one that was killed. What, what's that girl's name down in Louisiana that was killed? Anybody know? Does anybody know? Louisiana. Anybody know what I'm talking about? Uh, Irons Eleven with the pound four ninety nine. Pound four ninety nine, eh? But you're still not inviting me over to your house. Hmm. Uh, go go to the no no with the two dollars. Uh, what do you want for Christmas, Lamont? Ah, uh, two dollars super chat. What do you want for Christmas? Um, hmm. If I tell you, then it won't come true, so I can't tell you. But I know what I want for Christmas. That's right. Um, what what's that girl's name? Does anybody know? Now now I'm now I'm going through the comments. Does anybody know? The Starbucks is trash. The Starbucks sucks. I can't do that. Hey, what's the girl? What's the girl in New Orleans that got killed? She was like a, I think she was like signed to No Limit. Like her, she was with this guy, and they, and like somebody came with a rifle and just like I think they got shot like forty freaking times. Like she was just like, like I think she got shot like twenty times with a rifle. It was like ridiculous. Um, Seven Eleven girl, no, it's it's no, it was the girl. I, I've been to her grave a few times. Uh, she's buried in the same place where Soldier Slim is buried. I forgot her name. Yeah, I, I've been wanting to do her video for a long time. Yeah, no, it's just, you know. Um, there's actually Hip Hop the hip hop Murders. There's three different videos in, in New Orleans. There's Sol Soldier Slim, her, and then um, C Murder, the one that the Masterpiece brother that killed that kid. I, 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 gotta, I gotta do the location of that. So, you know, listen, I'm thinking... I'm honestly thinking if I do that, 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 you know, staying somewhere for six weeks, I'm, I'm thinking it's going to be New Orleans. That's what, that's the number one city that's in the running. So we might do New Orleans. 
Uh, no, not Gangsta Boo, but if, if Gangsta Boo had a grave, I'd, I'd definitely go do it. Um, Tupaca, no, that's a good guess, but no. Uh, Jay Mansfield, no, she's not a rapper, but I, I definitely got to go to New Orleans to finish the video. Yeah, I got I to gotta finish that video, so I'm going to try to get that done. So, yeah, maybe I will be going to Louisiana. I don't know. Um, yeah, I forgot her name. It was something. Yeah, Magnolia Shoddy. There you go. Yeah, that's it. Jersey Fest. Got it. Got it. Yeah, definitely doing her story for sure. Yeah, because well, she's a chick and she got killed like that. It's like... And she wasn't the target. The guy that she was with, and this is all hearsay, uh, he was the target. <clears throat> she just got, you know, wrong place, wrong time. Uh, that's it. Wrong place, wrong time. And with the hip-hop murders, you know, I want to do more of them, you know, more like un like unknown rappers and stuff like that. I just got to I gotta get my channel, like, it's everything is too frazzled right now. I, I, I got to get it more tight. You know, where I'm, you know, I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Anyways, um, Jada Youngin, I don't know who he is. I mean, I know who he is because I because I know he was killed. I don't know who he is. Like, I don't know the beef. Yeah, of course. A listen, any rapper that got killed, yeah, I'll do the story. I don't need to know, like, what exactly the story is to be interested. I already know I'm interested. I'll just do my research I know that he was cute. He was from Louisiana. I don't know. You know, when it comes to that, like there's a whole nother world outside of like beef with LA rappers, Chicago. And then you're talking about the guys down South, like the whole Florida, like they're, dude, these guys are crazy. Like these guys are crazy, man. I forgot who I'm in Florida and I didn't even want to make a video about this. I forgot. I even forgot the name. I was at the cemetery where that dude, uh, somebody did a video like uh, at, they're at like the grave of, a of, of uh, their, their enemy. And I think that was his grave where I was at. Cause I, cause it looked familiar. And I'm like, isn't this the guy that like, he made a video about this dude. And he's like, he was like pretending he was crying. That dude, Fulio, Julio, Fulio. I, dude, that dude, Julio Fulio, I do not know how he's still alive. I, he just got shot, like, what, a month ago? And he had that nasty... Dude, they're, they're, like, okay, you guys don't even know what I'm talking about. There's a guy, there's a rapper. This guy is ridiculous. His name is Julio Fulio. He's, like, this, this young black dude. He's, like, I don't know, 23, 24. He's got these big, stupid, ugly dreads on his head. This guy's a freaking character. He makes all of these rap songs basic, basically disrespecting his enemies. Like, like he'll just do these songs like, oh, you got shot. I'm so sorry. You know, he's being Because he's being sarcastic, right? So he did a video at the grave of one of his enemies. And it... Like the I, the video is ridiculous, and I'm like, what the hell is this? And then he just got shot in his leg, but the bullet shattered the bone, so he has like that um those rods in his in his ankle, and then like he takes a, like a photo, he's like this with his ugly ass leg with that with that big old. So he's got like it's like his leg has like this big old weird thing. And I'm like, dude. That bullet was supposed to go into your brain. I don't know. First of all, I don't know how this guy makes a living. I would love to interview this guy just, just, to, just to see how crazy he is. But I couldn't even interview him because then I would be a target. Yeah, that whole um, that whole uh, Jacksonville thing, I've been thinking about like doing a video about it for, but I, I, dude, I, it honestly, it's not worth it for me because then I go on their radar. I don't want to be on their radar because it's like, how do you do that video? Like, because first of all, if I do a video about the 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 rap war in Jacksonville, 
which, you know, listen, it's already old news, right? Everybody already knows about it. So like, I'm not, I'm not like, like, like rap, like, like my kinds of video don't really work with rap. I would just be doing that video because I'm interested in it. But, you know, it's just not worth it to me. But there's a whole, there's a whole weird war with different rap cliques or gangs in Jacksonville. And it's, it's a, it's a whole mess. I'm telling you, I wish, I wish I had a second person like to, to just, you know, I don't know. Cause there's so much I want to do. I just don't have the time. And, and, and even if I just wanted to do like a three or four minute video, I would love to put it up. You know, I just, I can't be putting up like 10, you know, three minute videos a week on my channel. It has, they have to be, you know, it's like, I, I it's gotta, I gotta balance it out. You know what I mean? I just don't have, I don't have the time. I just don't have the time. That's all. Uh, why not visit Kim Porter grave? I don't even know who that is. Uh, Big L, I've been to his grave. I didn't do the video. <clears throat> um, I will do the video. Yeah, Big L. Um, what was his name? Lamont Coleman Chapman. Uh, he was killed at the, uh, in Queens. I wasn't very far when I was on the freeway in Queens from where he was killed. So yeah, that video for sure. When I get out to New York, um, he's he's buried. In, he's in the same cemetery as uh, Luther Vandross. He's at the Washington Park Cemetery in uh, Paramus. Uh, so yeah, no, I'll be doing him. Um, uh, you know, when it comes to New York, uh, the Alpo guy. Yeah, I want to do that. Um, what are the New York guys? I can't do Run DMC. The the one guy because somebody already claimed them, so I'm gonna let him do that. But um, I I already did um. I already, I already filmed the grave of of uh, the one guy that was from the Outlaws with Tupac, but um, I, I want to do it a different way. So now I got to go redo it. So now I got to go to the address where he was actually shot because I was, I was, <clears throat> excuse me, I was gonna do a voiceover and then go to his grave. So I did the grave, and then now I'm just like, nah, I'd rather just go to where he was shot. So I got that one. Um, Philly. We got a couple Philly guys. I can't think of them right now, but yeah, no, tr trust me. There'll be more, there'll be more uh, hip hop murders. Um, I'll try to start releasing, but it's, it, it all has to come out. Like if I, if I, this all has to be like regular videos again, I just got to get back on track. You know, I just, I got to empty. I got to basically, you know, I basically, I, basically what I got to do to, to, to get ahead of everything is I got to take two weeks off where, and I'm not talking about like, you know, one week or five days. I'm talking about like an entire 14 days where I do not film a single video just to get all my old stuff off and ready to go. But it's difficult, uh, the way I, the way I work. Uh, so yeah. Uh, greetings from Virginia. I am a huge fan of your videos. You show so much respect for the departed and their families. Merry Christmas. Well, thank you very much, Virginia Possum. Uh, I try not to, uh, you know, overdo it. Like, yeah, you know, I'm just like, I, I'm just like my regular person. Like, I you know, I just, you know, but no, thank you. Um, not everybody gets respect. Some, some people are scumbags and, you know, they deserve to get shot. But, you know, um, you know, sometimes, yeah, yeah, I feel bad. I, I just, you know, I try not to paint myself as somebody that like, I'm like trying to oversell me being sad. You know, I hate those clowns. You know, like, oh, I'm so sad. She's like, shut up. Shut up. You, you just want people to like your video so you get more money. So, yeah. Uh, please visit Takeoff and Kim Porter. Who the hell is Kim? Kim? Okay, okay. I guess I'm going to have to Google it now. Oh, by the way, Takeoff, um, I tried to find his grave. Um, that video that I did about the girl uh, who the cop, that, I didn't know about her story. I just accidentally ran into her grave. Um, and then I just, you know, don't, I just Googled her name and it was just all that stuff came out. I just did the video real quick. That was the cemetery where takeoff is. I couldn't find his grave. Uh, I'm pretty sure he has an unmarked grave, 
there will be a vlog with that, but I have to start it in Houston and then I'll end it at that cemetery. But basically, I didn't walk all over the cemetery. I don't, okay. So the find the grave says that that's where he's at. And I, you know, that doesn't mean that's the case, but there was some kind of video that somebody made at his funeral. So he's definitely at a cemetery. He wasn't cremated and his ashes were spread. You no, know, he's definitely buried, but it's a, it's a, it's a really tight lipped secret. You know, if I found out where his grave is, I probably wouldn't make the video. It's just not worth it. Cause then you know, again, I, I become a target and people are like, well, why'd you expose his grave? I'm like, Oh, for clout. Didn't she make a rap song about people and what they would do for clout? Well, that's me. But I, I, if if somebody told me this is where he's at, I wouldn't expose it. Um, just because I just wouldn't. So, I'll I'll end it at that cemetery. I just won't. Uh, I just I I I won't be able to find it. I don't believe I will, anyways. But I definitely want to go to where he was shot. So I'll try to do that this year or next year. Excuse me. I'll try to do that. So we'll see. Uh, but uh, but anyways, all right, guys, I am done. Uh, two two hours and forty minutes. I, I was only supposed to do forty five minutes. I, I went over by two hours. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Thank you for the support. Thank you, thank you for the uh, super chats. Uh, I will be back possibly next week. And um, tomorrow Sunday, will I go live Sunday? Uh, Lamont at large. Probably not. I just don't have the time. Uh, I probably tomorrow need to uh, edit a couple videos. Actually, you know what? Tomorrow, you know what I'm going to do? Nothing. Nothing. I'm not going to edit anything. Um, I don't think I'll start editing until uh, next week. So I don't know. Maybe I'll just. Maybe I'll. I'll probably just like get my Texas stuff together. Like maybe just start looking for stuff in Texas because trust me. In North Texas, there there is a uh, yeah. I could stay in in Texas for a year, no problem. Uh, it just you know whatever. Anyways, two beers down. I'm ready to go. All right, guys, have a good night. I gotta. You know what I'm gonna do right now? I'm gonna say good night. Hop in the back. I'll, I'm gonna I'm gonna stay up for the next two hours. Just um, what am I gonna be looking up? probably adding stories to my folders and uh, just start looking. Uh, now I'm just going to start looking. I'm going to start getting all my stuff together, trying to anyways, for Louisiana and Texas. That's what I'm going to do. All right, guys. God bless. Have a good night. Peace out.